hello everybody welcome to our april yes we're april i know we were just talking like a moment ago about like how time is meaningless and we don't know time yeah <laughs> yeah april one shot uh frank aka rafiki and tonight i'll be running the expense for the lovely people that you see around me uh I will let them introduce themselves uh, first because people familiar with the channel are probably already know my face. Um, right. So let's go by the order that I see on the overlay, unless somebody wants to roll for it or is volunteer. Ah, uh, overlay is easier. <laughs> All right. Well, Harley, you first. Okay. Hi, my name is Harley Kane. You can find me everywhere on the internet at Harley Hero. And um, uh, today I am playing Blaze Hayward, uh, a Martian from, you know, uh, Mars. Mars. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going to be great. All right. Next, Andres. Uh, yeah, my name is Andres Rivera. Um, you can find me on Twitter and on Twitch uh, by Cobra Cast. Um, and I'm going to be playing Dante, who's also a Martian from Mars. Um, <laughs> and will hopefully be, be healing some people and uh, keeping everyone alive. That's, that's, that's the goal. Fantastic. And next, Nix. Hey, yo, I'm Nix. You can find me at Twitter on uh, MC underscore etching. Uh, generally, if you plug in MC Etching or Punkle Nix anywhere, I'll pop up. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be playing the part of book. Uh, just your bog standard rock hopper belter. Uh, you know, try not to die uh, with all of these Martians uh, running around the ship. And we're going to try not to accidentally airlock anybody. But who knows? <laughs> Would appreciate that. that. Thank you. <laughs> and last but not least, Derek. Hi, I'm Derek. Derek Ward. Uh, I also go by Dungeons and Derek's, which you can also find me on Twitter at. I'm the DM over at Short Rest D and D here on Twitch. That we've been on hiatus for three months. Oops, funny how that happens. Um, and tonight I will be playing <laughs> Fredrickson Archibald Reginald Chaboskili Edwards at your service. From Earth, by the way. Probably no. way too fancy to be on that ship, to be honest. <laughs> oh, yes. But we'll see. <laughs> Love it. All right. Well, let's jump right in then. So, it's been about a month since the news of the destruction of the Canterbury has been broadcast and received by your crew, which gravely impacted the water resource for the bell, with some recent accusation pointing towards Mars. It seems that the inner planets are once again at the brink of war. As the tension rises high, once again, the bell seems to be paying the price. For the denizen of the outer planets, finding a reliable source of water can be a bit difficult and crucial. It's where crews like yours come in handy. Welcome on board the, the Arcadian. A small asteroid surveyor working for the Earth operated corporation Blue Water Corp, who has been mining the belt for ice, selling it at a premium. Here for one more rotation. Welcome to the expense. Crew of the Arcadian. Who's the pilot of this ship? And what are st or what is your station on board this vessel? Which is, by the way, an absolute little junker. <laughs> like the corporation did not put more money <laughs> than it should in there. A lot of it has been. Thank thankfully patched up thanks to Belter Ingenuity. 
think that would be, you know, bug station would be next to whatever's broken. Trying to You're make it not guy. broken. <laughs> You're a really busy guy. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm probably the pilot because I went to school for that. So, yeah, that would make sense. I'm could, the pilot. Could have used that diploma, right? Yeah, of course. You know, like everybody, right? Everybody uses their degrees these days. <laughs> What leave? What, what what does that leave open for us? Is there um supervisor? <laughs> I could do that. As long as you're supervising over there, not in the where I'm at. Don't look over here. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is over there? <laughs> Nothing need concern you. But uh, you go over other side of the ship. Just sit, look pretty, do your other thing. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Slide on. <laughs> Uh, Dante would probably be uh, somewhere in the the very ill-equipped medical ward um, and trying to keep track of rations and whatnot um, and a little disappointed by how poorly uh, we're doing so far. Uh, that's where he would be at. I mean, calling it a medical ward is a very generous term. It's, it's, it's a nice name, yeah. There's a like sink a in there. Uh, the first <laughs> It is essentially a repurposed storage room, uh, with maybe a sink in there and a, like, a first aid kit just in case and a bare minimum. Uh, it it is not a very very large ship. You have your main command center where you pilot seat and all your monitoring is typically done. A very small, let's call it cozy crew cart order. Um, just don't bring too much stuff on board. You're not. I brought three suitcases. Yes. Uh, you yeah. can store them in the closet that marked airlock. <laughs> that sounds like it would be woefully inconvenient for when I want to change into my knickers. Is it? So, you've been traveling together for. A little bit, but how many rotation has it been for most of you? Uh, some of you may not, especially I'm assuming Reginald. I, I'm, I have a feeling that you were just recently shipped out of Earth, put on a rocket, sent out to the belt, just because somebody at the corporation was like, yeah, let's just send that guy to do something somewhere. He's on payroll. He has tenure or something. More than likely. <laughs> it's a good thing the benefits are nice. <clears throat> Wait, you you get benefits? I was literally about to say the same thing. <laughs> yes. No, 401k matching is not so much now. When the hell have they been giving out benefits? <laughs> I, I would say Dante's probably been on a few too many rotations, honestly. Um, just kind of bouncing around. Mm -hmm. um, but Dante's been out there for, for a bit. All right. So the crew is probably fairly accustomed to one another. With possibly some annoyances for one another here and there. Especially in tight spaces for a prolonged period of time. With nowhere to go. Saying I'm going for a walk doesn't exactly work here. Um, or at least if one chooses to do so, they don't tend to come back. Um, Alright. So. And Berg, I'm assuming you were born and raised in space. So. Yes, uh, Ceres native. You know, grew up on Ceres. Just, you know, out here doing my thing at the belt. Fantastic. Oh, all right, that's... There, that should fix that. So for you, all of you, it's more or less routine route, going from one rock to the other. Scanning it, 
analyzing, reporting the information, logging it to eventually the big ship that will come and gather those rocks or mine them. A bit louder. There you go. And nothing really a new out of the ordinary within the past few days. Same boring routine. Scan the rock. Move to the next one. Scan the rock. Move to the next one. Same thing. Every, after a while, every asteroid looks the same. Every boring meal are the same. It's not, it's not fine cuisine here. Uh, would you accept maybe ex occasional acceleration? Course correction. And you s stumble closer to tumbling rock in the belt. Mid day through what has been already a long shift. Probably, I'm assuming, original trying to supervise but not knowing where to go exactly on the ship. I'm taking my 16th bathroom break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's probably. Been... You know, you don't have to announce it every time. You know that, right? Like, you can just use the bathroom. Well, regulation. <laughs> All right. Um, Blaze, you're on piloting the ship, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, as you're piloting, keeping an eye on your long and short range scan, just to make sure that there's nothing that could be a surprise, especially this part of the bell. Uh, it is... Uh, a very pirate friendly area for some. Mm. Uh, so you're always on the lookout, just, but nothing in you know, over a thousand clicks nearby except rocks. So exciting rocks and rocks and rocks. Until a shape on your scanner uh, catch a bit of your attention. Um, let's. Hmm. Let me see here. Rocks and rocks and rocks. Got it. Rocks and rocks and rocks. Remind uh, me what you're doing here again. <laughs> I'm supervising. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> kick some one ply toilet paper off my shoe. <laughs> uh, do, do, do. I'm trying to find exactly <clears throat> what would be the specific uh, test for that. Um, a feeling would be, is it, would that be perception? Uh. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's do, uh, yeah, either intelligence, technology, or perception uh yeah i'll do perception try. yeah remind me what i roll for this what dice do i roll so you roll 3d6 okay and you add the necessary okay bonus for that uh in your case i have your sheet somewhere here yeah i add plus three so i just so I roll 3d6, mm -hmm. and that's not great. Okay, well not great, it can be still passable. Nine, I got nine. Nine. All right, and and what's on <laughs> your uh, drama die? The oh what? The, uh, so you have a, a dice that is a slightly different color from the other, I'm assuming, that you can tell apart? Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the number on that? Two. Two. All right. Okay. So we take a moment to just scan the thing, but you're not exactly sure uh, what it is. One, uh, one thing for major speed, space debris. 
but one thing you know is this ain't a rock. It's not rock for sure. It is not a asteroid. You've, <laughs> you've spent the past couple days rotations just doing that. Moving from one rock to the other and scanning rocks. Um, hey y'all, yeah. looks like I found something that's not a rock. I think we should go check it out. Found something that's not a... Not a rock? No, it's, I think it's kind of exciting though. Because, I mean, all we've seen are rocks. So we should definitely go check out whatever is not a rock. Don't you think? Right. Wait, wait, wait yes. hold on. No, wait, wait, I... Aren't, aren't we supposed to be checking for rocks? Like, isn't rocks. rocks, like, the whole reason right, why we're here? That's the whole thing. You so. can't tell me you aren't bored. I, I, I'm honestly here, so it's not that exciting. Like, I'm here to <laughs> escape some of the excitement, because, uh, you know, we're going towards what's supposed to be rocks, but is not rocks, and that sounds like a way to get shot at. That's right. That's, like, that's my concern, honestly. Honestly, I, I think we could use a bit of excitement, you know? It's kind of it's kind of been quiet, a little little awkward so i think i think we should go go for it honestly what, um, about um is it possible that not rocks could mean pirates i don't know i, I can't really tell what it is but i think we should go at least go a little bit closer so i can see what it is and then if it's gonna shoot us shoot at us we can like move you Wait, know we, we can even, like run away do we even we don't have weapons right i don't think i have a weapon you don't have you a have weapon, weapon? I mean, we, have, we, have we, we have weapons here. I mean, like, there's there's some stuff around. Yeah. We have weapons here? You have weapons? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, Of course it's we have weapons. Crazy. They gave me dental, but they gave you weapons. I mean, I would rather take dental, honestly. My dental's not not that great. Like, yeah, I, I've been that. missing dental for a while. I mean, we could switch if you want. Uh, you're promising, but, uh, well, you know, smart. Uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah. Fair, fair. Uh, yeah, I fair. mean, I mean, Burke, you're on my side, right? We should definitely go check out whatever that is. The entire time, I'm just staring, just like I cannot believe I'm stuck on a ship full of inners. <laughs> I am. See, I Burke agrees sit with down, me. I just sit down in my chair and strap myself in. We're gonna do what we're gonna do. See, I told you, Burke agrees with me, and obviously, he's got a better idea than any of us what we're doing on the ship. So. I think we should go check it out. Uh, it's I a bad rock. Placed you very <laughs> specifically for. Uh, so we find rock. water, we get money. We find salvage, we get money. See? I'm so tired of looking at rocks. I'm gonna, like, well, it's die really on the spot fine. right now if I have to see another rock. So I just need a break and then. Death is can... a liability. Go to the rock. <laughs> All right, fine, fine, fine. We'll, we'll look at this rock that's not a rock. I have a feeling that as uh, this call? rotation is going to be done, Burke is going to ask for a transfer somewhere else. I don't know. I've been no, out here Burke so long. I've been out here so long, I've been naming the asteroids, all the rocks after Innes. This newest one we passed, uh, I just named this one Reginald. Uh, oh. I do that to all the all of the asteroids we see because they're just large, useless m lumps of mass that have resources, so we have to deal with them. <laughs> Yes. See, see, Burke and, and I friends. I was going to fight for dental for you. Oh, I'm sure you were. Reginald. I would, I would, I would still like dental, though. Like, seriously. I would still like dental. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, if I if I got anything from this, did this did, <clears throat> unanimous, more or less unanimous decision is to approach the object, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, just a universal like, sure, let's go die. That's fine. All right. I'm not doing nothing else right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not See, busy. It's, a, it's Tuesday. I'm not busy. So... Might as well go and maybe die, right? Yeah, fix this, <laughs> get blown up by that, or whatever. That's my daily life, really. So you make your approach going from... How, how close do you wish to be from the object? You're currently at about like, a thousand kilometer that you were able to really pick on your... On your long range scan, it is, you know, essentially a dot right now. But how close do you wish to be? Uh, so I don't want to, like, even though I want to go see it, I'm not dumb. So I'm not going to, like, just go straight. 
towards it. I, I mm -hmm. want to just like slowly approach right. it. So as close as I can get to kind of get a better idea of what it is okay. um, without being too close. So I don't know what that would be like numbers wise, but that's what I want to do. Right. Um, yeah, you can, you can probably get, depending on what you wish to do, if you want to, you know, try to scan it closer, you can probably get around like 500 kilometers from it and get, getting closer just to get, get a better visual. Mm -hmm. um, and as you're approaching, just keeping an eye on, on those, uh, on your scanners, man, um, what you're able to determine that this is most certainly a ship. Uh, you look at all your scans, there's no transponder signal, which technically every ship has one. Some people choose to turn it off. Typically, belters might even want to go running very quietly. But you also don't see power emission. The drive appeared to be just offline at the moment. Hmm. And it doesn't appear to be active. Uh, likely a reactor shutdown. Essentially, a drift. Just beautiful ghost ship floating in the belt. Hmm. Uh, it just looks like a ship. It's a sh it's a ship. Okay. So either they been hit by pirates or they are pirates. Mm -hmm. can, one can of we, one one of the two. Can we hail them? Can we do we try and reach out and see if anyone's like maybe someone's hurt on the ship? Like yeah. maybe that's mm -hmm. Why they're not, you know, like, I mean, why would they just be sitting out here? Mm -hmm. So, you're using, I'm assuming, tight beam, hailing at them. Uh, how do you hail at them? What do you say in your message, should I say? Uh, are we going to message them? I, I, I think we should message them. I mean, we're, we're, we're here now. I mean... So, I mean, um, options we... options are you know board without saying anything, <laughs> risk getting shot. Uh, acknowledge the existence uh, if somebody is on board, risk getting shot. Or you know just sit here and stare at them, and you know eventually leave and risk getting shot. <laughs> when you put it that way, I can't say I like any of our options. Is or you know just shoot first. Well, I mean that's always an option. That. Well, if we shoot first, then we also risk getting shot. I mean, right? Is there any option where we unless don't we shoot fast better? We could shoot faster, blow it up before it blows you up, right? I mean, okay. That, now we have yeah. we have absolutely no reason to to blow them up You're first right. preemptively. Yeah, there could no, be we shouldn't do that. Injured, they could have a have an air leak. They could have run out of resources. Like, let, let's at least like see. If, they're okay. I Somebody guess? just give me a ger just a general intelligence test. Uh, Anybody? All Anybody them? doesn't matter here. Nah, yeah. So that's three d six, right? Yeah, you roll three d six. One of them is a different color that you can tell apart. <laughs> yeah. Um, Eight. I got. Um. Um. Oh, I that at math. Oh, do you add the number that you have in a specific? Yes, um, you would add, in this 15. case, your intelligence. I got, I got 15 as well. Nine, then. So, I got 10. What if there's an alien on board with acid for blood and two mouths? I'm just... Original has been watching classics, right? From, like, about a thousand years ago. <laughs> yeah, there's no such thing as that. Also, technically, I'm an alien, so I would appreciate you, like, not okay. talking like that about aliens. That's fair. I'm sorry. That was yeah. inappropriate. We should have some diversity <laughs> training in the next meeting. So, as you're discussing, you know, possibly blowing up the, the, the ship there, you all certainly come to the realization, one after the other, some a bit faster than other, that you're on Nestor Surveyor. You don't have any guns. You don't have any PDC or torpedoes. Unless you want to go outside... The airlock with a little pistol and shoot at it until it does something. Don't get me wrong. Appreciate a bold move here. Might take a while. <laughs> a 
maybe we should just message. May you know. We yeah. I, I, I think it's I think it's a solid first step. Maybe I don't know. I think so too. Uh, allow me. Oh wait, that's actually not the idea I was going for. I I, I think maybe maybe blades. Good. Don't Good worry. Message. I assure you, I am very gifted at the the art of glib, as they say. <laughs> that actually makes we... me more worried. But th okay, that's fine. Do we have a microphone? Is there a microphone over here? I'm just gonna leave <laughs> over the blades. Is there a microphone? Um, I, no, I don't think that's how that works. Um, that's not how that works, how, right? How does, how Do does you... that work? <laughs> hmm? Do... To communicate, it's not like a microphone or anything like that. It's not necessarily a microphone per se. You do have, like, microphone in there in the cabin that can pick up your voice and you can communicate that way, yes. Through okay. voice and video. Send it directly to the ship, maybe? Oh, or... yes. Video, too. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. All right. Hang on. All right, Blaze, I, I'm ready. All right. I mean, go for it, Reginald. I believe in you. Which button is it again? It's that one. It's that one right okay, there. Right, you got push this. You can do it. <laughs> push the button down. All Tap right. on the mic a few times. <laughs> Open comms. Yeah. Broadcasting. Hello. Um, is it on, Blaze? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's on. It Can they see me? <laughs> no, no, no. We're just using voice right now. We're just using voice. <laughs> Hello! Um, <laughs> this is <clears throat> Fredrickson Archibald Reginald Chebosky Edwards of the... What is that ship called again? Arcadia. Yes, that's it. Um, uh, we are opening comms to see if you are right. Do you need help? Uh, we, we seem to have scanned your ship while looking for rocks and have decided that you are, in fact, not rock how can we aid so you send that very confident broadcast with all the stump the stumbling included <laughs> you wait for a moment no response from that ale see i told you it's the alien with the two mouths and the ass and blood. i'm sorry try, I, no, try, it, try try again try try, yeah, no, try. I, I told you it's the um Wait, we didn't get a response, from... or we did? No, we didn't. Oh, well, well, then why are you freaking out, Reginald? You're it, fine. Well, it's the spacefaring creature with two mouths and acid blood. Yeah. That, I... just, you just gotta try again. Yeah, maybe yeah, just, maybe just that was a little look, aggressive. One more time. Ask if ask if they need any help, or ask them to identify themselves, maybe? Do you need I'm me to do push. it this time? No, 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 no. I'm fine. I assure you. Push the button. We are, um, again, the ship Arcadian. We are hoping to aid you. We have no um, connection to uh, authorities. We just want to help you. That sounds like we have a connection to the authorities. Don't don't say that. <laughs> so exactly that like something a cop would say. The button is still pressed. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I'm gonna like move you out of the way. Hi, we just saw you on our scanner, and so we we're just trying to see if y'all needed help. That's all. So if you could yeah. just let us know. Thanks. All right. So, you send that message out. Still no response. And you keep an eye on your scanner, just in case. No movement whatsoever. Uh, if you're scanning a bit closer with cameras, because ships should not have windows, it's a structural flaw. Have they been given a window by something by any chance? <laughs> yeah. Uh, me shitting on whole uh, sci-fi by with ship with windows um, you do pick you were looking for more or less identification than ID of what ship was and you see it's a fairly uh, large ship about 30 meter, meter long from that scan M much larger than yours uh, you s do you see on the side some PDC attach um, which means that this is not a civilian ship by any means. Uh, maybe I should have told them that we did have connection to the authorities. Maybe that should have been better idea. No, I, I think you did. I think you said enough, Reginald. You, you okay. did a good job. Yep. All right. I could try again. No, no, I think maybe, you know, I know this was my idea, but I don't think they want to be bothered, so mm. I'm glad we found them, but I think we should just go. 
I, well, Looking what if there's skin to... no one on the on the ship now? Like, I mean, if it's just like a hunk of metal floating in space, like, didn't I mean? Did we just I talk thought... about like, Ber like Burke? You just said something about scrapping it, right? Scrapping salvage, yes. I mean, salvage is always it's a time honored tradition, you know. I mean, Dante, right. you're the one who didn't even want to come, so I'm well, a little but bit now, confused. Now I, now I know that there's no one there. Or there's and... no one answering. And for the record, I always wanted to come myself. Yeah, uh, I guess so. Anyway. So, okay, well, I mean, if y'all want to, I, I mean, it's better than looking at rocks, so I mean, I'm down. So so be... I mean, it looks like, I mean, it kind of looks like a nice ship. I don't know. It Like, are we able to see, is there, like, any, like, Damage on the ship, or we don't able to scan like right. or has, see has if there's any like, given so damage. Voluntary window, right? Giving a visual scan on the ship. Um, on this, uh, you do see, see some mild damage on this side of the ship, at least from that visual perspective. Uh, you, you do know that on board, you do have a drone uh, built for, for you know to be able to scan further in when your ship is not able to um so you can always use that or you can just go take a lovely spacewalk uh but you will need to or approach closer but it's up to you how you wish to make such approach uh, you can just always eva there which is just unless you're used to rock hopping uh Berg, you probably have done that already before in your past you know just hopping from one place to the other with the EVA, with your suit. Or you can just attach it to what is uh, like an umbilical cord that docks two ship uh, together. But you, for that one, you need to be, well, close in and docking position. I think maybe the... Oh, my voice hurts all the fuck. Peanut butter. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> I think it might be wise. Protein, we need it in space. Anyway, it might be wise to get closer with the drone and then get a vision established, right? I mean, we, we know nobody's on there, so, I mean, why don't we just go up to it? Right, Burke? Right? That's how we, we scavenge a ship. I mean, we don't know that there's nobody... Well, um, now y'all, I want to be cautious. Well, maybe they're just not. Speaking, okay, so like we we not. we could send a drone, get a better look on the other side, maybe get better readings, see if there's an atmosphere on board. No. If we go close, I suggest we try to. It's bigger than us, so you know we could maneuver the ship behind the weapons, uh, so it can't, you know, shoot us. Uh, maybe yeah, one, one person go AVA, check airlock. Okay, well, what what do you think? What do you want to do, and what do you want me to do? I suggest we send a drone, uh, check the other side of the ship. Who knows? Might have huge hole. Yeah. That's an indicator that probably not capable. Okay. What do you think, Dante? Uh, well, yeah, I think uh, I, a drone's a good idea. I honestly forgot about that drone. We have, we don't, like, I honestly forgot that we had it. So maybe sending I see, it. And I, then, I forgot too. Yeah, then we'll yeah. then we'll see if, you know, if anyone is on board or you know if there is any um, damage to the ship, anything that makes it dangerous for us to actually board it before we get there, and then we'll go from there. All right, I'll get the drone going then. Um. So we can see. Good plan. All right. So you're sending your little drone out. Mm -hmm. uh, for that drone to do the distance, you would need to pick close-ish because, well, it's a drone. It does not have an Epstein drive behind it. It's not going to go super fast. Mm. Uh, so you approach you know, your ship at a comfortable distance, just enough for your drone to be there uh, and reach it in a timely manner. Um, now, e e um, important question that all of us completely glossed over. Does anyone know how to work this 
this thing. What, the drone? Yeah, of course. <laughs> right, I knew. Chances are Blaze Reginald... wouldn't know how to do it. Reginald, you just keep doing your supervising thing, all right? Yes, I'm doing a great job right now. You're doing such a good job. Don't worry about all the technical stuff, okay? Okay. It says here that if I I won a thousand dollars if I click this button. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, don't click nothing, Reginald. Okay. Look at Reginald right. being scammed by like a prince from Cerise. Mm. <laughs> uh, so, you send your drone out. You do a quick scan of the ship. Approach it. Go on your side, you're able to see you don't you see minimum damage. It's, it's a ship that's seen some days here and there. You don't see any visible marking or, or registry right at the moment as you approach, probably near the airlock. Just to have a general idea, if you're gonna go board that, maybe the, you know the best option. You do know that the airlock appears to be open. Uh, Giving you an idea that there's most likely in that area uh, no atmosphere at the moment. Well, it looks like nobody's mm -hmm. on the ship at the moment. You, um, I'm assuming you're continuing your scan of the vessel. Uh, yeah, that part has been vented. It doesn't seem to be giving any sign. Was it vented on purpose or not? That's hard to tell. Um, you do see, as well, uh, some marking of. Uh, I would not say a breaching pod, but definitely some visible damage in that area. Uh, was most likely forced open at some point. Hmm. Uh, Anything else? <clears throat> not that you can see at the moment unless you wish for the drone to go inside. Uh, yeah, I think we should have the drone go inside. See, I mean, it looks like nobody's on there, but we, I mean, we, why not check, right? <laughs> Since we're being cautious and all. So you send your drone inside. Go around. So what you're able to see from there is this uh, vast cargo hole, uh, about uh, say, uh, what's it? Would be the size scale, but that's about two meters. So maybe like ten meters wide, ten by five. And you look around with it. And eventually the feed just cut. The drone is no longer responding. Did it get too far away? Mm, I don't Typically. think so. Sorry, go ahead. Something may have tempered with a drone. Um, the drone mind. went offline. I don't think that's a bad sign. I don't know. Charge the batteries. Yeah, that's not really how that works, but that's a good question. All right, I'm sorry. It's okay. That was a great question. No, the I I, th I are... think the batteries are fine. Um, but I think. Did you change that... the batteries or remote the drone? <laughs> did you turn it on and <laughs> off and on again? again? <laughs> is there a software update there? Yeah. This yeah, is no. why no windows on a ship. <laughs> yep. Why? It no, crashes constantly. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that went right over my head. Well. The belt run on Linux. Smart choice would be to leave. Without smart. our drone? We're not going to go and get it. We're just going to leave our drone in there. Seems kind of wasteful, don't you think? Ever I mean, did. you're the supervisor here. Everything about this screams carcass that hasn't been picked clean yet. 
Maybe you think somebody so? got maybe somebody got left behind to keep an eye on it. Uh, somebody probably coming back. So we should go or should we stay? I look, you know, we ain't we got no gun. Just I have a gun. Like, oh, uh, well, I mean, like, like ship, ship gun. gun. Yeah, oh, you're right. We, we we got no PDC. We got no missile. We got nothing. We just like you know, we wave our ass at the airlock. That's about it. Yeah, we scan rocks. That's about the extent of that. So unless we want to, like, real fast, quick, in a hurry, find out what we'll take out the drone and maybe take that ship and use its weapons, I don't think we got that kind of time. It doesn't look like it would turn on so easily to me either. Like, I can oh, fix really? most anything, but like, that's a big ship. That's a big ship. You'd need a lot of people to fix things, and I'm not so great with a wrench. A hammer, yes. Like I I'm said, sure. like, we got pirates out here picking clean inner warships. Don't care. Not my business. I don't see. Right. Plausible deniability. But this like, is... They get a free broken drone for our inconvenience of being here. Our inconvenience? Like, look, we, we, we accidentally stumbled into their place of employment. I see nothing. They have a free drone. Uh, we're going to go about our day. It would not be hard to say. And it, you, Reginald looked very apprehensive. We needed a closer look at a rock, and it didn't go so well. But you can make paperwork say anything. Equipment go missing, damaged all the time. Exactly. Things happen. But, uh... It's a lot easier to write off a drone than it is to write off one of you to a pirate, to say. I guess that's fair. I mean, fine, if you guys want to fly away. I mean, at least we, you know, killed some time not looking at rocks, so I don't care either way. I mean, I just think about that poor, sad little drone all by himself, you know, in, in that big old ship. It's kind of sad, but, you know, Please. it's okay. Do they have feelings? Is that an actual thing? Do we put feelings in those? I've literally only seen them use in parks. I have no idea. I mean, why not? We do? Why would we do that? You, you well, I leave... say it has feelings, okay? You leave trash out for your Roomba, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> why would you do that? What is a Roomba? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Add some googly eyes to it, you know, give it personality. <laughs> yeah, it has feelings, okay, and it gets hungry. <laughs> well. But I'll do whatever y'all say, so, I'll, I mean, I can start flying away right now. I think the drone is uh, very asleep. I'm sure it won't know anything that happens. It's, it's humane, really. <laughs> Alright, fine. And I'm gonna start piloting away. Dante, you haven't waited. Do you, what do you think? Well, I'm just, I'm just thinking about how it's a lot easier for me to heal heal people than than a drone. But you know, I feel bad because we like we didn't even like name the drone or anything like anything cool, and now we're just kind of leaving it. We so, could have I'll, a funeral if it makes yeah. it easier to say goodbye. See, thank you, Dante. I mean, yeah. we're we're on the same page here. It is a little sad, you know. It's, it's a little sad that we just we just kind of send it in there and then. We're not even going to see what happened to it. I mean, think about it. I mean, someone else might come across this and then find our cool drone. Or, like, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what could happen. See, this is why you don't give thing, names to things you may have to eat or leave behind. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. Do you Super eat drones? Supervisor num number one. Burke, you eat drones, don't you? Burke, I'm, I'm on your... You know what? Let's go. I want the drone now. Like, no, we don't give names to things we may have to leave behind. It's fine. It's good. It fulfilled its purpose. Burke, are there other things you've been eating on the ship that you shouldn't... Just say Never name something you may have to eat or leave behind. Did anybody else have, like, a mouse that came into the room, the, the quarters of the pit they really enjoyed the company of? I'm sorry, what? It stopped showing up about two weeks back. All right. Well, no, I don't no. don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, so are we going back or not? I don't care either way. Like I said, that's that's a big no for me. I say we just go back to scanning big 
giant masses. Manda own. On one hand, I kind of like all of our lives being alive. But on the other hand, that looks like a promotion. What looks like a promotion? The ship. Okay, I mean, I think, though, that Reginald's vote should not count as much as everybody else's. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, somebody would know that I, I, this I, ship I, is now worth it. Now you see how it feels, Ida. Don't somebody, feel so good now, does it? Somebody yeah. would know that this ship is worth a lot of script. And also, Reginald, are you going to follow co uh, company policy and log that in? Shit. <laughs> Let's go to the ship. Oh, we're going on the ship. Okay, I mean, Let's... sorry, Burke. We'll be fine. And I'm you gonna... Don't sound very sorry. It's important not to lie to your colleagues. Thanks, Dad. And I'm gonna like <laughs> <laughs> go towards the ship. <clears throat> do we do the? Do we just kind of hop in, or is there like a? Do we do the cord thingy? That the voice um... in my head was telling me about that I totally have knowledge of. <laughs> I don't know. What's the best way to do this? <clears throat> well, the safest way is always to do the umbilical. It's essentially provide you more or less of a static structure that you're not going to accidentally drift out of and not go where you're supposed to go. That sounds like... I, I like that option. If you're not comfortable with, you know, a small pace, a spacewalk, it's the safest option. Yes. Uh, I like All that right. idea. Let's do uh, that. Question. Does does doing that, because that ship has no atmosphere, does that cause any problems with our ship that does? Well, have atmosphere? only if you leave your airlock open in the ship as well. Okay. Because so. air, an airlock has two doors, right? One that I'm is outside and one is inside, and there's a little room inside that you vent. If you leave right. both open, I mean... Uh, Everyone remember to close the door. We're not trying to atmosphere the entire neighborhood. So are you going, Reginald? You're going to go? Go find the drone? Well, I say on hand that there is a pirate on this ship. Somebody waiting, like you said. I... It might be best if whoever goes on this ship has the means to talk their ways out of it. All right, you go. Have fun. I am not above begging for my life. You know, I didn't think so, Reginald. Yeah, it didn't so... seem that way. Yeah. Yes. What, what kind of... I wanted to classify that. What kind of small arms do we have on this vessel? So you would each have at least a pistol. All right. I did get a gun. And... I mean, it is technically available in your locker. Uh, whether or not you have it on you or convenient place, that's entirely up to you. You also all have a, a vac suit available to you uh, for things like that or you know, d damage sustained uh, that you need to patch up. It's good to be able to still breed. Right. Uh, well, you, you fine folks wouldn't send your favorite supervisor into a dangerous situation by themselves, would you? Right. Anybody else want to go? I mean, I guess somebody's going to have to go who understands these kind of things. Burke, are you volunteering to go and get the drone? I mean, I'd better die over there than die over here. Such a soft <laughs> interior. Burke. I'd at least like to die on a nice ship. <laughs> like an egg. Well, that's Back very sweet there, of you, Bert. There's the golden treasure inside. <laughs> Can we all go, or does someone have to stay back on the ship? I, I mean, if there is somebody on there and they decide to get on the ship, and oh, whoops, looks, it's disconnected now, that would be unfortunate. Uh, well, I mean, I, like, I could go as well, Blaze, if you don't mind, you know, holding it down, down here, just to Make sure that no one's injured on that side. Yeah, I can. I mean, I, since I know how to pilot the ship, I'll just stay here, and you guys go and get the little the little drone. Perfect. 
anything happens, fly away and then pick us exactly up at six sharp. Wait, no, 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 don't, don't fly away. I wasn't planning on flying away. Don't right, worry. Don't fly away. Unless I'm leaving y'all behind for good. Just let's, just let's make that clear. Not, not That's a not. good joke. That's a joke, right? That's a joke, right? Right. I, I'm, I'm gonna go get, get my gun and, and suit. That's whatever. a good idea. I'm gonna kind of check the scanners, and then make sure I indicate to like you know. <laughs> keep an eye. Keep an eye for anything coming. In. Yeah. Yeah. Anything sneaking up. Mm -hmm. Anything moving towards us. Drive plumes. Weapons fire. Yeah. We don't get anything like within thousand click of any transponder active at the moment. So. And it's yeah, been a pretty lonely money. road in, until here, so. Go get, get my suit and get my gun. All right, don't make things big enough anymore. Just have some baby, baby powder in it. It's gonna slip in. Yeah, it's it's, it's fine. <laughs> All right. So, from what I understand, Burke, Original, and Dante are going on board the vessel while Blaze is staying at her post, making sure that nothing can sneak on, uh, on them or communicate. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on like, the sca like my scanner and yeah. you know, if we need to make a quick exit, I'll stay on the ship. All right. <clears throat> Get away driver. So approaching- Yeah, exactly. Approaching the vessel close enough, connecting the umbilical cord. Uh, you open your airlock to that corridor it's about give or take 10 meter, meters long uh, but there's no gravity in here so are you keeping your mag boots on or are you just free falling in there for most belters <laughs> it's probably more comfortable free fall mm -hmm. but i would say how, how, how are we oriented orientation is a vague that concept works. Yeah, I mean, from our perspective, from your per perspective, like, we'll be going horizontal from the yeah. ship. Yeah. So if your ship, yeah, you're essentially parked like right next to each other. Boat nose are probably facing the same way. Okay, yeah. so we just we can just walk through. Yeah. To oh, uh, what is uh, was the airlock for the other ship? It's a good parking job. No wonder they have a diploma. I'll probably uh, kick off my mag boots and just kind of hop across the umbilicus. Mm-hmm kick them on wow, again when i, I when i get too. to the um the airlock on the other side and yeah. just start like examining the airlock controls like you said their door was open so we don't have to worry yeah. about opening the door yeah it's open but, you don't need to but i want to look and see if there's system. a way when we get over there can we close the door and repressurize the ship mm -hmm. okay <clears throat> so going over there uh bird give me a let's call it Intelligence. Um, techno either technology or engineering. Whichever uh, works best for you. Okay, let me do, 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 do. figure out. So intelligence. Where do I find the technology engineering? Uh, it would be a focus that you would have picked whether or not you did. I'm not sure if you did. I don't think I did. Okay, then in that case, it would just be uh, straight up. Yeah, I don't see any focus on your sheet. Hey, you can think about it, uh, but I let's do intel. Uh, let's do intelligence engineering and just add plus two. Your, your role. I mean, you're you're the ship engineer. It would make sense that you would have that focus, right? Yeah. Uh, triple fives. Triple five. All right. And you're generating more. In okay. So that will bring or turn up to one. <laughs> generating stun point. Uh, so the H system has uh, stunts. I do believe I did <coughs> provide a little uh, fancy little link. Mm -hmm. and the Discord uh, that give you uh, the wide variety of abilities that you can use. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Do you wish to spend any of them? It could probably be under like investigation st stunt or It's essentially just a little extra cool thing you can do. Hmm. Um, yeah, let's see if I can do an investigation. And how many did I get? Uh, so what's what's the uh, number on the drama die? Did I select a different color? Uh, they're all five. So. They're all five. So you ha you have yeah. up to five stun point that you can spend. Oh, so I can spend five on this list of investigation. Yeah. You don't have to spend them all. Uh, but you have up to five that you can spend. Oh. Well, this one here under five, Breakthrough, you gain not only information, but some form of incontrovertible proof. Uh, in examining, can I figure out whether or not it was breached? Yeah. So, you take a moment... While uh, the inners are making their way, probably walking across. And you take an observation at the pads. Uh, you do see that this was breached. Uh, if it, it is still fixable, mm -hmm. somebody could you know, take a bit of time and arrange things. It's not necessarily a model ship that you may be fully familiar with. Uh, a bit more advanced than your average belter ship. Definitely more advanced than the Arcadian. Not to shit on the Arcadian, but yes. To shit on the Arcadian. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Arcadian is being held by duct tape for the most part. Um, but you figure, you know, take a minute or a bit of time, you could f most likely figure out to fix that. Or there's probably somewhere else in the ship that could force that to be closed. I'll just wait for the rest of the, the gang to make it across and I'll tell them this shit. Look, look. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Breach from the outside. Yeah. Uh, we, could, we could pressurize, but that's just going to give who, like, whoever's in here still that took out the drone, that's just going to give them atmosphere too. <clears throat> So we should probably go in weapons out. Hmm. That... I'm uncomfortable with you standing behind me with a weapon. I'm a better <laughs> shot than you might know. You walk know. beside I... me. There's a, uh, it's a sport. It's an old thing. It's skeet shooting. You know, I used to do that on the weekends. I'll I'll cover our six guys. All right, I'll go in front. All right, still on board of the, this vessel. It is completely dark with the exception of the little lights that you have on your suit. So visibility is very minimal except where you're looking. Uh, you do have comms to one another so Blaze you're able to hear all the communication being told unless they decide to cut it off for some reason. Uh, well that wouldn't be very nice. No. We're not going to do that. <laughs> so Hypothetically, mm -hmm. all of those um, <coughs> movies, they're all fictional, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't have, yeah. shouldn't have to worry about that. Yeah. Just, okay. just kind of focus it's on just it. A, it's a little dark. We are in space. All the movies are real, Reginald. Have fun. No, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't. Don't send him smiling. Don't patronize <laughs> me. <laughs> so I'm 57 years old. If you're all taking a quick look around, uh, you can all give me a perception seeing. Uh, Absolutely. If you gotcha. Uh, just to so that you have a general idea of what you're gonna observe and notice. 11 with a five on the drama die. With a five on the drama die. Do you, do you have any doubles in there? Yes, two threes. Um, two threes. Uh, ten with uh, five on the drama die. Okay, and do you have any doubles in there? Uh, no doubles. Okay. Fourteen with three on the drama die, no doubles. All right. So bring up turn by one. So fourteen 
Christian, what was it again? 11. 11 and Dante? Oh. 10. 10. I actually have a 1 in perception, so 12. All right. Okay. Excuse me. So. For, uh, Berk, you rolled the highest on that. Um, taking a look around, you trying to get your bearing, make sure that nobody sneak up on you. Uh, one of the first things that you do note a spot is the remain of your drone, uh, which was sh simply shot. <laughs> you do see it just floating around and eventually bump into one of the walls. Um, oh, buddy. <laughs> I'm afraid that funeral is going to be happening one way or the other. What happened? What are you guys seeing? <clears throat> I'm afraid the drone is uh, worse for wear. Looks like somebody... So are, are we next to it or are we still away? So yeah, eventually it will, it will make its way towards you. Can I, can I like, take it in my hands and kind of like look it over, see how big this gun show is? Is it like a basic sidearm or is somebody packing some actual serious heat in here? So if you make your way and catch it in your hands. Uh, you take a look at it. At a quick glance, it seems to be just, you know, something similar to, than what your sidearms would have caused. But it is a drone, it's not armored drone it's <laughs> the bad news is that somebody yeah. shot it which means we're not alone here yeah. the good news is it looks like we are equally as equipped as them. well i mean okay so we found the drone it's been shot it's very sad do you guys want to come back now i mean maybe y'all are gonna get shot and that i mean that might be a little awkward so it might not be a bad idea to head yeah. back but then again we are also this yeah. And in there, you're able to see like some luminous strip, like around where uh, the doors would be, just as an indicator. Uh, something that catch your eyes, real quick at the corner of your, just the corner as you're pondering about that drone. It's just a figure floating around. You're just you're able to see a figure floating around. Do they look like they're moving of their own accord? So you turn to face it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what you see there is a human person. Well, oh. Uh, f just simply floating. As it spin, uh, you do see that the face plate of the suit has been broken. Uh, there's small shards floating just weightlessly around their head. Yeah, by the way, shit might get dark. Just content warning. <laughs> People die sometimes. Uh, the person inside a suit? Yeah. They dead. Very dead. Right. Uh, the condition in vacuum. No bacteria. Makes it a bit difficult to assess the exactly how long they've been gone. Right. Uh, could be a day. Could be a month. Uh, it's hard to tell. Burke. Dante Blaze. We've... Well, we're in some shit. What'd you guys find? We have, a uh, One KIA on here. I mean, can you see who it is? Does it, I mean, does it look like a pirate that was shot or something? Um, I'm gonna. Is the is the body kind of floating closer yeah. to us? Yeah. Can I can I look at the suit for any like identification or anything? While uh, Dante searches, I'm going to just kind of be near him, just looking around. Yeah. You don't find like a wallet or some shit like that, but what right. you do find? <laughs> it's not a wallet chain. Oh, man. <laughs> it's a wallet chain. It's very popular, like like around like arrows. You know, everybody has that. There's right. Jankos and wallet chains. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you do find a, 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 on a flight suit uh, a name of a ship called Pikes. Well, 
Looks like we know the name of the ship, but this isn't looking good, guys. GM. Yes. Uh, somebody who is versed in this, in the company and does mm -hmm. their paperwork. Yes. Is this a company ship? I know that name. So, the Picus is not a company itself. It just, okay. like, it's essentially the same thing as Arcadian or right, right, Canterbury right. or something. It's not a, a company name. But would I know um, what I have heard of this one through any means? Uh, hmm. Give me... I mean, it's always possible to run some registry. But give me, uh, if you find anything, it would be, I think, intelligence. Uh, let me just look at the... There's so many possible so many skills. Focuses. And if you don't have that specific focus, you just roll. Yeah, you just roll what, uh, whatever it is. I mean, the focus actually help you do sh things better, right? Right. right. Um, let's say... I would either debate for current affair, business, Actually, mostly current affair or uh, just general intelligence even would probably work well. Right. I'll just do general. I don't have any intelligence focuses. That's pretty bad. That's a seven. That's a seven. You know, you take a moment. It doesn't ring a bell. It's just a ship name on the registry, right? You're not 100% sure. <laughs> Of what it may be, <coughs> uh, but the design is not the order ship for sure, right? Which probably is a, one of the indication of why you would not be fully familiar with it. It's not your standard order corporate ship. The fact that it has a few PDC on the attached to the hull probably give you that, the idea that it's not a civilian ship either, right? So. <laughs> Uh, is there any kind of... Is there any power? You don't see any power. Like, like, there's maybe like... like consoles? Little backup, like lights that are probably battery powered. Uh, still running. Uh, but no visible console from here that you could access. Uh, uh, is, is but there... you do see some lights though. Some little blinking lights a bit like in the distance. Which are attached to a disc about, say, 45 centimeter wide, about maybe like an inch and a half thick. That's big. Uh, Burke, what's your defense? Uh, do, 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 where's that at? Uh, it would be uh, your defense would be you don't have any oh, dexterity, uh, right? So it's ten. Yeah, ten. Okay. So, as you're trying to find a console, uh, you do see this little floating disc, little bleeping light, just looking at you with a little li uh, light flashing. In your eye. Uh, that's uh, two, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's an, an eleven to hit you, which will do so, uh, or should hit you. Technically speaking, it's shooting at you. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit of a surprise. Thankfully, it did not roll super well. Um. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it would be seven, uh, quote unquote, damage. So you would rem remove your uh, toughness and armor. Uh, and you would add, add your armor and toughness to that. So you're, you have an armor of one right now because you have a vac suit on. Mm -hmm. Your toughness is one. And I said seven, right? Mm -hmm. So you would remove uh, five of your fortune point as the projectile uh, 
miss you by like like an inch. Uh, not causing any damage to your vac suit, thankfully. But what you see in front of you seems to be a defense drone or a combat drone. And we're just gonna roll a quick initiative here. Have fun, y'all. Yeah, about that one. Uh, um, Blaze, you can also roll for that, and still, you're you're still technically considering the initiative. You can, you know, give com I may give commands and things like that. You know, ideas. Uh, you do you have a, any leadership skill? Um, I'm attractive. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, um. That would be a communication leadership, right? You don't have that. No, I don't have any communication. All right, you, can, you could probably use communication to general, just general communication. So, what's everybody? Okay. And so, roll, you roll treaty six, and add your. Oh, well, that's not great, but okay. What do we add your, for that? Uh, you just add your. I would just add your dexterity to that. Okay. Ten. 13. Ten. Uh, 13 as well. Blaze. 13. Dante. Look at us, Martians. 13. Look at us. And Martians. 10. Look at us go. Bert, 10. And the drone rolled. Well, pretty decent. Uh, the drone rolled? <laughs> yeah. The roll isn't <laughs> part of that initiative. Hmm. I roll uh, 11, 12 for the drone. So somewhere between Reginald, Bert, and Blaze and Dante. Uh, Blaze and Dante, you're top of ini the initiative order. Uh, you can you can decide among yourself who, g who goes first on that turn. What's your dexterity? Uh, two. Oh, mine's three. So, yeah. Um, Go ahead. yeah. So, I don't really you know. probably hear will... a com communication like, oh shit, something's shooting at us. Go get him. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm not really sure what what um what to do. I'm not going to lie because I'm on the other ship. But maybe, is there a way to like move the ship? So it's like maybe closer to them or uh, there's like guns on the ship, right? On this other ship? Yes. Is there a way to move out of the way of any guns? So you want to essentially detach the umbilical? Oh, what would I have to detach? No, I don't want I to mean, unless you want to say, fuck it, I'm going to wreck it. No, I mean, this is a, this ain't my ship, you know, and I feel like <laughs> Reginald will, I feel like Reginald will Just... tell on me if I start crashing into things, you know? Um, Invoices. <laughs> He's gonna make me pay for damage, and we, we're not gonna do that. So, um, <clears throat> is there a way to like, <laughs> like hold action, basically? In this? sure. Okay, that's so, what I'm gonna do. All right, and so Dante, uh, um, you see a drone shooting at Burke. Okay. Perfect. And are we're are we kind of all in? Like... I, I'm assuming you have we are general in general vicinity, right? Probably like a few meter apart. Some of you okay. probably still stuck to the floor. Oh yeah. Because um, your mag uh, unless there... you decided to un you know remove your mag. No, I, d I definitely have the mag boots on because I'm not all right. Great at uh, free falling. Um, or in like zero grab situations. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there any? cover nearby are we still just kind of standing out yeah you, the, so you can use your uh, your movement to find some cover there's you know a few crates around mm. uh what was probably the previous cargo the cargo of this vessel so you you are able to find some cover uh, okay if needed um but so you can use your minor action to move and find some cover if you wish now now question would it be a minor or major action if i wanted to like push like Burke or Reginald, like, into cover because they're, like, getting shot at? Hmm. Good question. Is that something I could do? I know that Reginald has his mag boots on, I'm assuming. 
Reginald. Ha uh, it's probably easier for Burke, and Burke is the one like directly getting shot. Burke, are you right are you free floating, or do you have your mags? I, I still have my mag boots on. All right. So um, pushing somebody with their mag boots on, you're just essentially just shoving them on the floor. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. While their feet will just you know stay there, stuck there. Right. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna definitely um, do a minor action to move okay. to a spot of cover. All right, so I would give you a plus three to your uh, defense at the moment. Great. Okay. Um, and then um, I'll use a, a major action uh, to, to fire. Do you do, do your range thing. attack. All right, roll for it. So if you have any, you add your accuracy to that. I, I had one for that. You you, ac you accuracy, and if you have a focus in pistols, uh, you may also add that. Uh, did you add already add the, have the pistol in your inventory? Um, I just did. So it's two d six dice, right? Yeah. This one. Perfect. Um, eleven. Eleven. What's that drone's defense? Yeah, it just, you're probably just surprised by the, all that sudden action, and your shot just miss it by, like, barely miss it. But you're gotcha. covered. Okay, uh, perfect. I'm, and I'm just going to kind of yell, everyone's like, find cover! I mean, you don't really need to yell, <laughs> because everybody has comms. I'm, I'm, so, I'm still going to be yelling yeah, from, from so, panic. So everybody, All right, I'll find cover. Dante comes in very loud in your ears. Uh, it's the tr drone's turn. Uh, it's got... Uh, hmm. Uh, Burke, can you roll me a d6? One to three is going to do one the other thing, or, or one of the other thing. Right. Uh, I got a four. Four, all right. So it's gonna it's gonna approach you and with a little uh, essentially stun gun. <laughs> I feel so bad from rolling decent for it for it though. Uh, Switch your dice right now. <laughs> I have a tons behind me. My, my wife tried to curse my dice before this game and it never works. Oh man, well, you know, I appreciate the effort. Yeah. I think that's really nice. Effort. So I rolled two, five, and a four. Which generate stun for it. Um, so what it will, it will do, it will approach you and st uh, st stun you a little bit for 1d4, uh, 1d6 plus 4 penetrating damage to so bypass your armor. Which is not bad, I rolled one on that damage die. So, it will puncture your vac suit, uh, which makes a little breach. You, will, you may want to you know, fix that. Uh, and you take, oh, your toughness is two, so you only take, uh, that's plus three, that's, you only take two to your uh, fortune point as you it's shocking uh, you just feel that just the electricity just course through your vein um, and for a moment you, you, you your legs feel a bit weak which you probably fall on yourself if there was any gravity but you can keep uh, stay the course and you're essentially right and you know, the drones just poking at you right now so, Burke and Reginald, that's your turn. And Burke, you have a, uh, you have, you're, you have a breach in your suit, so. Okay. You first, Burke, I, I Yep. Very slow. Um, okay. So it's like right next to me? Yep. Um, can I, um, since there's so much, I got a breach, I just react. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I essentially just put my hand over the hole? Can I disengage my mag boots? Yeah, absolutely. Kick off? Yep. Straight up? 
But is there a way as I go up, since it's so close to me, can I re-engage my mag boots when I'm close to the drone? Can I catch the drone with my mag boot? So since you're trying to step on the drone with your boots? Yeah, just go up and as I get close to it, just attach to it. I'll allow it. Uh, now uh, I'm you, on top of the drone. You have the it movement for it. it. It can't shoot at me. So roll... I'd say improvised weapon. So just use your fighting ability. 3d6 plus your fighting ability. <laughs> so that's 8, 9, 10, plus 3. Uh, so 13 with 4 uh, on the, the drama die. Any, any, stun, any doubles, Jerry, drink that? 2 fours. 2 fours. All right. No, the, the train is not at 34. That would be very, very bad. Train went up by one. But yeah, you successfully uh, attach your boot to a very confused drone. Uh, if a drone could be confused. We are putting feelings in. Um, <laughs> I told you. Uh, but yeah. You have, I want to say, sealed the breach. Because, you know... And slowed. Slowed it a little bit. Uh, you, but you are aware that all your vac suit have a little quick patch. It can just patch up real quick. Uh, but yeah. You are on the drone. So now since it's stuck to the boot, it can't pivot left, right, nothing. It's just, well, with well, me on it. it. It can, but it, it takes me with it. Yeah, it will... Essentially, y what moves you around... At the moment, is the drone. <laughs> mm -hmm. It has to deal with the mass of me on it. Yeah. Which, technically, you don't weigh shit yeah, in yeah. space, but it's still mass, right? That has to move. <laughs> Alright, Reginald. Yes. So, your friend, colleague, just got shot, and you got a robot that is wanting to shoot people right now. Yes. Well... My first major question is, is it possible to turn our suit's comms open like we did with the ship? What do you mean? So we have direct communication with each other. Can I do direct communication to everyone in a radius? So you're... Unless you're in the same frequency for, like, your suit... Mm. Uh, Not so much. Yeah. All right. Well, then I'm going to say I saw this in a movie once and stick the gun up to the drone and pull the trigger. All right. Roll for accuracy. And if you have pistol focus, add that. You have to be at a 14. 14. Well, hey, look at that. All right. 16. 16, any doubles in there? Wow. No, unfortunately. Four, five, six. So, you... Plus one. Push your pistol right next to it as Burke is standing on it like the world weirdest Nimbus Cloud. It's, it's and you, you pull the trigger on it and debris of the drone uh, are shot behind. Seemingly turning it off uh, with Burke just... Vibing on a floating drone. Well, that worked. Uh, I'm assuming you will take quickly the time to patch yourself up. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be smart. Yeah. Uh, so is so, that the end of initiative then? Yeah. So your exigent supplies are a bit lower than started with, but usually you have like at least a few hours of oxygen for spacewalk. So you're you're still good. Good job, guys. I knew you could do it. It was surprisingly easy and terribly dangerous. I'm so proud of you, Reginald. <laughs> but seeing the drone, the damage I did to Berg and the floating dead spacemen, it wouldn't be too far-fetched to assume that one may be connected to the other. Right. The way I see it, we have two options. Get the fuck out of the ship because Burke just had a hole in the 
tracksuit and probably we should not fucking be here. Or grab something as fast as we can and mm -hmm. then get the fuck out of the ship. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have two kind of broken drones and that drone uh, shoots the things, which I think is kind of cool. But uh, I mean, obviously not cool for, for you guys, but like, I mean, maybe we could use it. Burke, do you think you could fix it up after Reginald shot it? I did shoot it. And anything's possible. Do we want to, I don't know, do we want to assume this is the only threat? Do we want to maybe get a hold of the black box? Download somebody, crew logs. If somebody broke into the ship, like you said, I have my doubts. This is the only threat. Well, yeah, I, I don't know if we want to deal with, you know, maybe this isn't the only drone. Um, and uh, I don't know how much uh, more firepower they have if they do have a, a drone that is just defending this area. Um, I don't know. How, how are you guys feeling? How confident are you that we could uh, keep pushing through? I give a quick call back to the ship. Space still still clear. Nothing on scan. Nobody coming in. No drive boom. Um, let me check really quick. I've definitely been checking the whole time. <laughs> And not uh, being playing Candy Crush on your phone. <laughs> yeah, the, no, I'm definitely not. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, give me just perception. Uh, internal perception. Okay. Test. Or. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, so that is. 11. Yeah, 11. Yeah. I got two fours for the four and the drama die. Two four and the four and the drama die. All right, so mm -hmm. br brings it turn to five. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I didn't add my plus three to that, so that's 11 plus. That's 14. Okay. There we go. Sorry. Right. If you, and if you want to spend those uh, stun points, you may do so. But I, I glance looking on the scanners. Uh, still nothing within a thousand clicks. Uh, no, there's nothing on the scanner. I, I mean, who knows? If y'all leave right now, they might come. Whoever is still in there might come after us. Because y'all shooting drones and stuff. Well. Is there anything discernible about the drone? Does it look high tech, fancy, glossy military? Is it piratey patched together? Uh, give me intelligence technology. Okay, I got a five. Nine on the roll, and then the te technology adds what, two? Uh, yeah, you have a zero to intelligence and plus two. You have a focus index, it's plus two, yeah. Okay, so what did I say? Nine, ten, eleven with a five on the drama. So part of it has been a bit shot to pieces. It's nothing super high tech. It's not fancy Martian tech or it, it seems to have been possibly repurposed. Uh, maybe as the same damage patch a little bit, uh, but very functional, very dangerous still. Well, when it's not, you know, shot. Those type of drones typically, as soon as you shoot them down, they're done. They're they're built to be lightweight, movable, and replaceable. Hmm. <laughs> Trying to get a feel for like uh, who, who might have mm -hmm. taken down this ship. They obviously no. left this behind because they're coming. Like maybe they saw us and left, but plans are coming back. The way I see it, you got shot. This is your call. Well, now, see, I'm just angry, and I just want you know. I'm gonna get if shot. I'm gonna walk, walk away with a, this shop, with, with a piece of the pie. If you want to walk through the ship, fuck some things up, take some things home. But you're not gonna report it, right, Reginald? Or else we're gonna have a problem. 
There is specific language that we can use to get around <laughs> such barriers. All right, well, have fun. Don't die out there. <laughs> All right, I guess, uh, I, let's keep going, I guess, and I'm checking my pistol because I'm mad I missed the shot. I'm yeah. Right. Keep on going. If we all survive this and come out with more than we bargained for, we'll go golfing together. I'm okay, but thanks though. Good. Nice offer, thank you. But I have no idea what that is. I want <laughs> to go to a fancy earth restaurant. That's what I About want to do. Uh, yeah, all right. Okay, cool. All right. Fancy earth. I, I'm sure if we get everything that we're looking for, I can talk to the folks back home your grand home and coming for all of us deal <laughs> sounds fine homecoming for me a new new territory new three actually all right well all right so below you you would have more cargo area Mm -hmm. and where you know the rear PDC would be an engineering would be above you probably have like more of the uh, crew deck galley command it's, think of it as building right so you're essentially currently on uh, if there was on the third floor more or less um, but yeah you can choose what you wish to do I think the black box. Uh, black box, uh, a cargo hold, good place to start. Mm -hmm. It's less nailed down, meant to be taken in, taken out. Mm -hmm. Maybe we get some, some cargo salvage, load up, go. Cargo hold salvage. it is. Yeah, I'll like continue it. eating rations. All right. As Wait, don't, don't eat all the rations. We only got so many. As there was a chocolate cake in there that I was specifically saving for somebody's birthday. Hmm. <laughs> As you venture into the black, and with, with only the light of your helmet and a few uh, light strip to guide your way through the ship, we're gonna go take a little break and continue that in about five, ten minutes, give or take. But just stretch, drink some water, buy a break, and all that. And we'll be right back.
And we are back. All right. So, Burr, original Dante, are currently on board the ship, presumably named the Picus. At least that's what's what's saying on the uh, dead person's spacesuit. Um, with Blaze keeping an eye out just in case something's approaching the ship that should not be approaching. So what was the plan of action? You're currently in the airlocks below you. Cargo hold. You have the cargo hold, and below that you have something more. But yeah. I think uh, we are searching the cargo hold for any easy-to-move salvage, as well as the black box. Okay. I'm going to look around the door where we walk in, see if there's just like a rack of clipboard. Maybe there are manifest. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you don't you take a look around. You don't. There's no. There would not be a, a specific clipboard. There would be a monitor that one could access and touch around and computer, right? So it would not be just a random clipboard or pen attached to it. Uh, so in order to access that, you would need to probably bring power back to the ship. But you know where you would be able to find some of those uh, around. It's definitely not be a belter ship. It is also... Uh, Dante. No. Sorry, please continue. Oh, go for it. I, I thought you were done. My, it's my no. apologies. Go for it. Dante, um, could you take some time and look at some of these boxes, specifically the ones that are tied down, to see what you can find and see what's left in the uh, meantime... Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Um, sure. So... Um, mm -hmm. should I make a check to see it, like, if they're valuable, if they're movable? What would you like? Just give me a perception searching. Just to pr pretty much, you know, find where the information would be on okay. those Perfect. crate. They've definitely been moved around. Okay. Um, that's going to be an... 18 how many yeah, stun points there uh th five on the, the stun point the and i do have a a double two fives double two five all right <laughs> raising the train a little bit so those that are there they're essentially just basic supplies some extra food storage things that could have been brought in and out uh you do f see one that was that's been cracked open uh, on the side is actually MCR and PDC supplies. So that's Marsh Navy supplies in there. But, but it's already been open? Yeah, one of them has, seems to have been uh, open. And okay. the more you look at them, the more you see the labeling is, seems to be consistent MCR and labeling. As Dante searches the boxes. He's looking for manifests, black boxes, etc. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend some time doing something that might sound time wasting, but I'm going to be looking for clues. I want to see if I can find signs of a struggle, indication of pirates, anything that could dictate why this is a ghost ship what? and what we should be going to below if we decide to continue. Well, you already have the dead, the dead Mickey in the trunk of the ship. So that is an indication that you know something went horribly exactly. down. Exactly. The fact that the airlock was forced open. Uh, not a good sign. Not a good a good sign per se. Uh, but yeah, it can give me a per uh, perception searching if you want to find anything additional, maybe. Um, that would be a nine. I and do nine. have doubles on. Okay. Um, what's your uh, drama die? A four. Four. All right. No lowering the churn for me. Well, anything about about uh, uh, on uh, that with doubles that thing to generate stunt with four and above will up the churn a little bit. Oh, great. 
Uh, so you take a look around. You, your all experience is original with pirates. He's a jack of all trades, I would say, mm -hmm. but technology is definitely not his specialty. So not so much. However, I do have, um, if it affects anything, I do have a background talent in intrigue. Okay. So first hand it seems to that this was probably hit and to be come back and picked up at a later time, leaving a few drones around, or at least one drone, just to make sure that if somebody snoops around, uh drone may be able to handle that. Well Burke, I think that your deductions are correct. I think we might be alone, at least with unrelated drones. But I don't think that will be the case for long. So fill your pocket, let go. Dante, did you find any? Um, well, there's this one box that looks like it's already been broken into, and this, I mean, is really the only... It, I mean, this is military cargo here. Um, everything else is basic ration. Um, is there anything it left in the box, or is it all, like, taken out? So, the, the one that used to contain PDC has been cleaned up. The ration seems to be still intact. And there's probably more if you go down in the cargo hole. Uh, so the ship was carrying military cargo. It's kitted out with relatively heavy weapons, you would say, right? <laughs> yeah, that we can see from the exterior. Yeah, there's... On the Pikes that you were able to scan originally, yes. you did see four PDC. Uh, two in the front, two in the back. Or top at bottom depending on how you want to see the thing so big uh, weapons yeah military but, cargo and it's an unmarked more or less non-civilian ship it's not a civilian ship right uh, so yeah based on all those things you assume that this is most likely uh, MCRN uh, car uh, does any of you have any military background uh, Dante does, yeah. Dante does. I say, I'm sorry. I was a pilot as well. I like, oh, okay. kind of joined that, became a pilot. <laughs> yeah. So you probably would have seen that somewhere at some point. Uh, you know, this is not, you know, the top of the line MCRN vessel, but this is definitely MCRN military ship. That should not be here fact that this there's essentially a derelict MCRN ship it's a bit worrying especially if it comes in the wrong hands if that backup power is keeping these lights on it's still going that means this is a recent ship but what reason would the MCRN have for being in our neck of the woods there's just rocks here Oh, now this is getting more and more fishy. See, you say just rocks, but, you know, resources are resources. Earth, Mars, always, all political, always trying, one up the other, Delta caught in the middle. So who knows, maybe they scout something strategic. But wait, who would attack the ship? That's my... I don't know, maybe unregistered Martian military transport find unregistered Earther military transport? Maybe pirate? Maybe OPA? Who knows? I don't imagine the pirates around here are relatively small fry to my understanding. 
can see why they would go after an unmarked military ship unless they have a lot of guys. Um, or maybe, you know, ship come after them, they get a lucky shot. Maybe. It'd have to have been a really damn lucky shot. You know, maybe that's why they're not here. Maybe it wrecked their ship, they gotta leave. Happen to, did you manage to find anything yourself? Uh, so just looking around, mostly just yeah. keeping an eye out for more drones. Yeah. Uh, currently in the airlock sections, you don't see any more drones. If any, if you look, want to look the cargo bay for that as well. Uh, currently, you don't see invisible sight any current drones. The way I see it, we have two options. Fuck off. <coughs> and risk getting shot at. Let's say very Or go deeper, figure out what this thing is, and risk getting shot at. I mean, you're already there. You might as well grab some stuff, right? I mean, either way, we're witness to something that happened out here that's not supposed to happen out here. We got a target on a hull right now. You think somebody's watching us? Almost uh, we have We have records of being here. Not for long, we don't. Alright, so what we need to do is grab some stuff and then we need to blow everything up. That's that's what I was saying. Like, blow, blow everything up. Maybe disable the ship as well. Um, even further than it might be right now. Um, but, I mean, I... I'm thinking that whoever attacked the ship maybe got what they needed, or at least took some of the good things, but maybe they did it quick and left. I don't think so. I don't yeah, think they would have left the drones behind. Yeah, a prize this big, you managed, uh, say pirate managed to take this out. What a love like, uh, scripts. A prize this big, not to mention, like, bragging rights. Oh, yeah. No, there's something on this ship. I had to place any amount of money on it. It's both exceedingly dangerous and exceedingly valuable. The question is, is it worth it? Well, I guess we won't know until we go find it, huh? Thank got... you, yeah. We got two choices. We search with our eyes, or we take time, get powered in a ship, and we search electronically. Either way, time consuming. The thing that they could be keeping on this ship that is so valuable could just be data, information. Knowing that, it seems most fortuitous to us. If we do decide to continue, to bring power to the ship and search electronically. Theoretically. I mean, and I'm out here keeping an eye on the scanner, so, mm -hmm. I mean, you have until I see something. So we really don't know how long we have. Well, I... Burf, do you think you could get power back to the ship? <clears throat> I mean, a few cable here and there. We could probably mm -hmm. run power from our ship. This ship... Minimal power, just enough to fire up main computer, check resources, you know, black box, crew log, command log, travel log, where did they come from, where are they going? Would you be able to do that from here, or would that be something we need to make our way to the main bridge? Probably main bridge. Yeah. Yes. GM, knowing that this yeah. is a three-tiered ship. Assuming well, it's more than three tiers, the... right? It's like it's Shit. a couple of floor, right? Uh, so three tiers is just the cargo, so, right? Yeah. So, Burke, you, you've fixed a lot, probably worked on a lot of ship, you know, out of, on series, you know, whatever you were doing prior to doing this. Maybe you were working docks, repairs, things like that. Find something more interesting here. You do know that there's a few things that one would need to directly check to make sure that a ship will power up. One, 
would be if the reactor is still in decent shape. From an exterior perspective, I do not see any damage to the reactor or where it would be. So yeah, you have a feeling it would most likely be good. Other than that, you would probably need to make your way all the way up to the command deck, which is typically at the nose of the ship. So we go check and see if we can start the engine. So the way to get power is see if ship will make its own power. GM, how long would it take us from getting from the deepest point of this ship back to our little connection point? Well, that, it, that really depends on how you make your way there, right? Quickly. If you're essentially pushing yourself, uh, free-falling with zero G, essentially using that momentum, it goes pretty quick. You don't actually have to, you know, take a step-by-step it just we don't necessarily have per se uh, a lot of control unless you're used to doing that it can be sometimes the fastest way because mag boots are not made for running so theoretically we could if we do zero g make decent time to get back in case blaze tells us hey somebody's here all right Fuck it. Let's go. All right. Fuck it. Let's go. So which direction are you going? You can go below towards the cargo and the reactor core. Or you can go up, uh, which would be at above this, uh, some crew quarter. I defer to you, Brooke. Probably make our way to the reactor and see if we can even fire it up. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do that. Let's stick together. I don't want to split up on this ship just in case. Yeah. That's right. Stick together. And I'll just sit right here. <laughs> I need to farm on that little thing. I'm about next, almost the next level. Uh, but uh, Blaze, in the meantime, on the Arcadian and thing, you wish to do scan, try to find additional information... Can I like scan? Did, did we do like? I know we we use the drone to like s look around the ship, mm -hmm. but like, is there anything I could do to like scan the outside of the ship, like, uh, or anything I can do from where I'm at to like get more information? Uh, yeah, you can use uh, you, sure. you can use your your essentially your your scanner on the ship to see if there's any anything unusual, any any signature somewhere. Uh, just okay. ro roll me a techno um let's do i'm engineering i don't know if that would help or um yeah. under intelligence yeah so. you can do intelligence engineering to see if you're able to quickly from the scans that you're able to see determine any possible issue okay um so with that, do I add like my intelligence plus my engineering? Yep, correct. So you would okay, add your correct. intelligence score, which is, I don't know what it is, plus yeah. two for your engineering. Perfect. Okay. So 16. 16. With a three on the drama die and no devils. Okay. So you take a look at, at the scan, trying to get as much information also to pass the time, maybe a little bit. Um, try to, to scan from the perspective you're able to see uh, all PDC seems to be functional or at least would be functional if power is applied to them so th it would be a theoretically a functional gunship uh, mm. you're able to also scan around the uh, communication array uh, just take a, a look visual without actually going there you don't see any external damage to them and you would assume what may be torpedo bay as well available so it is it is a decent correct class gunship that somehow found its way here in the middle of the belt just being quite undead 
on the comms and we'll be like, whoa, this thing's got torpedoes, guys. I mean, this is a pretty well equipped, well manned, I mean, lots of gunpower on this ship. I mean, at least from what I can see on my outside scans. So, just be careful in there. Yeah. Bert, you reckon we get this thing online if somebody does come out? We could probably bring the PDC online. <laughs> All right. right, going to the reactor bay. Going down. Uh, are you free falling there, or trying to use the mag boots? Or are you? Are are you moving all around of the ship? Uh, I'm probably disengaging my mag boots yeah. and trying to go for speed. Probably easier as well. Uh, I will be mag booting, sadly. Yeah. Uh, so you it's move around the ship, space, go to the, the uh, reactor bay. You take a look at, at it, and from what you're able to see, there's no da there's no visible damage to it. So this was a manual shutdown. It was a voluntary shutdown on the ship. So from the command bay, you should be able to, without too much issue, uh, find a way to power that up. Well, that doesn't look too bad, does it? No, I, I mean, besides you know, a few scratch on the, the outside, uh, slightly messed up airlock that could be fixed with a proper engine mechanic. It is a mostly perfectly functional Gunship, you may have to avoid, you know, mentioning that there is a, a dead Martian in the trunk. But beside that, I get down probably into the reactor core mm -hmm. late since I have mag boots on. Look at you, Burke. You're such a good mechanic. You fixed it already. <laughs> Where are you on our way back as you walk through the door? <laughs> yep. Just go past him. <laughs> this is pretend to wipe sweat off my forehead with dunk. <laughs> Thankfully, it's cold in space. <laughs> but, you know, in vac suit, you have, you know, it's regulated. To the command bay, then. Alright, so making your way through the first crew deck. I don't like the voice. It's the voice that says <laughs> something is there already. <laughs> uh, what's, the, what's the order in which you go through? I still have um, mag boots on, so I'd imagine. Yeah, so I'm, I'm in the assuming back. Reginald's probably in the back, and then yeah. I would probably be following right behind Burke. All right. Burke, I'm assuming having a lovely encounter with a drone, you're probably going to take a look around, just make sure that nothing is going to yeah. shoot in face. Stopping it, you... you know, stopping at doorways and hey, doing that, then kicking off and then stopping in a doorway. And... Always in corner, that's where they get you. And, and if you know the quote, we can be friends. Uh, give me a perception seeing. Okay, sorry, you're good. So you take a look around, just snooping around. You do see just floating. Did not probably did not notice you right there. Another drone just floating around in more or less standby mode, but most likely still scanning the area. Uh, come to a stop and just like turn around, look behind me, motion to them, and just be like. Quietly inform me, like, yo, mm. there's a drone. Um, is there somewhere I can take an aimed shot at it? Yeah, from where you are, you probably you have, you have an angle from that little spot. You could probably get I'm a right. clearer shot if you go up, but at a risk, right? Yeah, I, from where I am, I'm just going to kind of brace myself, take my time. Mm -hmm. 
pop a shot off see all right if nothing else it's gonna come at us so what you can do in this case um uh, is use the a minor action which will grant you a plus one to your uh accuracy roll that okay okay so roll for accuracy mm -hmm. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, no doubles and three on the drama die. Three on the drama die. Uh, you take a shot and it... The angle is a bit hard. You don't see any... There's not much light. Uh, and you, you shoot at it. Miss it by... Just an air. Uh, but it is active and searching right now. Uh, we can use the same initiative that we had previously, unless you want to roll again. I'm open to either or. I'm also open to either or. Though, um, clarification, it's, it doesn't know we're there yet. It's just... It, 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 you know, something came up on its a sensor that, oh, there's some activity. It is currently searching for a viable target. Okay. So we might be able to get a little bit of a jump on it, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think we should roll again, but that's only because I rolled terribly. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Let's roll again. Yeah, let's roll again. That's fine. All right. I'm going to roll for the drone. Ooh. So that's a 15 for the drone. Uh. That's better. <laughs> Still not great, but better. So All we right. just rolled a 3d6? 3d6, yep. Plus your uh, uh, dexterity. I got Next the same thing. 13. <laughs> 13 for Blaze. I um, got five <laughs> with double ones. Oh boy, Bert. Having a rough day today. Uh, I got 15 for me. 12. 15 for Always. you, uh, Dante? Yeah. Always the belt up. And uh, Reginald? 12. No hmm. double. Ah, nope. Five. Double five with a five on the um, drama day. Double five, uh, five on drama die. All right, raise that. Anybody else had doubles anywhere? I just had the double one. Oh, I had double threes. Double threes. And what was it on your drama die, Bert? One. One. All right, double threes. And what was it on and your I drama die, Arlie? I'm sorry, I had a three on the drama die. All right, cool. So just raise by one. And I don't get a stunt for the. Um, no. All right. The five. Uh. Top of the initiative, uh, Dante, uh, you see Bert communicating and taking a shot. Uh, and I'm, I'm assuming that you communicate that Sasuke, you, sh you missed that shot. <laughs> yeah. All right, Bert, uh, you are free falling around the Picus right now with uh, Bert right above you. Uh, what you want to do? Okay. Um. So what I want to do, I want to make sure if I shoot this thing, I hit it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have the best. So really quickly, so when you prepare an action, mm -hmm. like, is there like a certain trigger that you you say like you're preparing? something if like say like a like i'm waiting for it to get closer to me to like melee it like is that something i could prepare an action to do i would allow it uh okay. yeah you can, you can prepare that right when you use the prepare uh minor action prepare you take this action to both point a ma major action so whatever major action you want to do uh you okay. can do that so what what i'm gonna do is because um I'm not the best shot, but mm -hmm. like what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like prepare a shot and like basically have my sights um, on this thing as it's kind of searching around for us. Okay. Um, and basically, my like made like I'm going to shoot it, but I'm gonna shoot it uh, if it like locks on and finds one of us. That's All when right. I'll take a shot. All right. Cool. So it is the, after the, it is the drone's turn. So I'm just gonna give it. Unfortunate. Do I have any okay in my stats for the drone? Do do they have any perception st stat? Probably not. It's a gun. Probably not. Oh yes, oh yes, it has, it has, it has a right? one plus, in perception. 
Yeah, so thankfully I roll super low. <laughs> All right, so four, five, six. So six on perception. Uh, it's looking around, searching for where we shot it, looking around, but, and it's going above you at the moment. It's still not, it did not spot Burke, probably that was clever and ducked a little bit as it m went by. Uh, but yeah, you do have, you do see the drone just going above you. Uh, which come to Blaze. Okay, I have a weird idea. I like weird ideas. Okay, so can I like distract it, like maybe by making like loud noises or something through somebody's calm or something? Well, see the thing is, I'm trying to be really creative here yeah. since I'm like on the ship, you yeah. know? Okay. Making sound would not really travel well because it, you're in a vacuum, right? Okay. Oh, you're right. You're right. Uh, but I'm, I'm assuming that you have more or less fancy things that you do have visual, like such like a little monitor with what they see is what you see too. Okay. Uh, what I will allow you to do, if you wish to do so, is try to access the drone through possible hacking. That was my next question. Yeah, I would love to do that. The test for that may be a bit difficult because while you're not on a military ship, Against, you know, a drone. I mean, I'll try it. Well, anyway. hey, you can silly try it, right? Yeah. So, roll me. me. Do I get bonus for, for engineering because on that? Uh, let's see if it would be, in, if it would be necessarily engineering per se. It would be definitely an intelligence test. Uh, it would probably most likely be cryptography because you have to okay. decipher and act it in a way. Or I would allow it also take uh, security. Um, no, I don't. Well, uh, actually, hold because on. engineering is mostly hands-on, right? Right. Okay. I like this this bloopy tense music. Okay, so just I'm gonna just do my intelligence. Oh, please roll really good. Oh, I got double sixes. Okay. And a four on the drama die, so altogether that's six. Teen plus eighteen. Eighteen. Alright, so Alright, so Cool, cool, cool. That would work. Woohoo! Um and Thank you, thank you. That would uh, do you have any applicable stun? Point for that. Uh, maybe no, no, it wouldn't be really infiltration. I'm not sure if there would be any applicable stun for that. Um, well, it'd be necessarily dis uh, disable drive. No. But yeah, you're able to uh, actually. Sh uh, yeah, you're able to act into the, the, the drone. Uh, overriding its current protocol, which is currently searching for uh, friends or foe. So I control it now? Is that what's happening? You change its, its protocol, the at least on that one, but you do know that their commu uh, drones do communicate temp uh, typically with each other. So if there's something going on with one, the other one would be aware that there's something going on. So there may, if there's any other drones, they would be aware that somebody's tampering with them. Uh, so can I change, if I change like the protocol to like, like these are friends, mm -hmm. would that change for all the drones or just this drone? To your knowledge, it would change for this one. You're not sure if it would impact all of them at the moment. Okay. Hey guys, um, I just hacked into this drone and I'm going to change the their protocol to so that quit shooting y'all, okay? You just went into the what? I figured it out, Reginald. Qu quit shooting at it, okay? Oh, unfortunate. Yeah, so sounds great. And I'm, you know, trying to put my pistol away as you know, stop my ready shot. 
But just be aware that the drones, the other drones, if there's any others on the ship, probably know that I'm tampering with this one, so they might be aggressive. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they would have been aggressive anyway. They were aggressive anyway. To be fair, yeah. I guess that's true. Well, you're yeah, welcome. So, yeah, thank you. Perfect. We just have one less aggressive drone, which is nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. We picked up a pet. Yeah. Will it oh, shoot the other drones? Oh, can we name drones? this one? Oh, God. I mean, we could, like, give, like, <laughs> maybe not a great name. I mean, you know, because it's, like, a hacked one. It's, like, for funsies. Okay. You go ahead. Well, Burke, do you want to... I feel like you secretly want to name it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we just name it Hack. That's a great yeah, idea! Good. I love that's it! Too. See, look that's at you, Burke! One. That's a pretty good one. Alright. Um, I'm just gonna give Burke a big slap on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, Not like I wanted secretly a cat my whole life or nothing. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Let's go. Well, let's keep this one. We should keep this one. Guys, Will make sure to grab it. Drones? Can I carry it around like this? Uh, I mean, you can carry it around. It, it, in here, it waits. Nothing, right? Wait. Do these have cameras? They have sensors. Blaze, can you sense on your end? Can I? Can I, like, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, can I tell how many other drones there are? Because we're all connected? That'd be great. <laughs> uh, How many stuff points did you have earlier? How many what? Stun stun points? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. Where do I find that? You could probably, I mean, I'm assuming you have above two, right? You had a, I'm pretty sure you had above two. Uh, I think it was so you can, yeah, you can, you can use, the, you can probably use the speed demon test, uh, stunt to essentially complete your ta uh, task in okay, half the time it would take. Uh, <laughs> um, so you, you take some time to look at, uh, look at it, try to file the system, uh, while the rest of Y'all, I don't know what exactly you're doing, except hopefully be happy that you did, did not die here. Uh, you do sense on, on board of the ship uh, one more drone. Uh, it looks like there's one more drone on the ship, y'all. Yeah. One, hey, can work. Uh, but looking around in the crew quarter, you don't see uh, any active drone. What you do see, however, is all the doors for the crew, uh, like room, are open, vented completely, uh, with some people flewing around, some still tied in their bed. Whoever took this place. Yeah, it looks like they're all dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can I can I do a quick like check on the bodies and just see if like is this just like drone gun wounds or is this purely like vacuum of space? So you you go and approach them. Uh, there's blood flowing around, so right. you uh, you can try to swipe it or use some air to move it around, however you wish to do. Uh, those floating around, visible gunshot wound. Those in the bed seems to have, you know, suffered from a same very unlucky fate. So thankfully, they did not suffocate. Right. Uh, but yeah, the, the crew that is here. Uh, got surprised and taken care of. I feel right going through any personal effects. I think we should continue to the command. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. And I kind of, you know, if I was, you know, kind of taking a look, I kind of slowly kind of push them, uh, any uh, bodies just kind of very softly and gently away, um, continue to move forward. Going up to the next crew quarter. Uh, 
the scenes that you see in front of you pretty much tell a very similar story. Uh, a few less crew members. Uh, maybe like find one, two, uh, holding around. Uh, but no drone visible in this area. Going up to the first crew deck. <laughs> Uh, you do see one person floating around with all room closed, uh, open, except one that is currently closed. So um, I kind of take a quick look at both Reginald and Burke, just like, like that seems like something we need to check. That doesn't seem right. What are y'all seeing? Well, every room is vented except one that's currently closed. Hmm. How, like, how do we check if it's if the room is sealed and not vented? If there's a person in there, they don't have a suit. The second we vent it, if we second we open the door, mm -hmm. like they die. I'll float up mm -hmm. and uh, kind of put my helmet might like press the helmet yeah. against the door and press my ear against the helmet yeah. and I'll just kick the door three times real hard. You kick the door in there there's not much resonance uh, which indicate most likely this is the vacuum there and the seal does not seem to be like tight it just seems to have been mm, closed okay. like somebody probably just moved the door manually to close it mm. Mm. Um. What did you hear? Anything? Nothing. Right, we can pry the door open, see what's in there. We can wedge the door shut so that when we turn on the power, they can't. Mm -hmm. it does, you know, we can keep it sealed for the most part. I think we should open it. One of us gun to the door. And the others. I was about to say, if any. I, I would like to, or it's, my assumption here is that the attack happened and then the place is, place was vented, right? And so any people that would still be here most likely would have a suit if they were still alive. Um, so I'm not necessarily worried about potentially killing someone by opening the store. This was also a very thorough if anyone is alive beyond this door, I can't say I trust them. I agree with that. Okay. Um, is there any like notable way about like uh, how to open this door? You probably have a few tools available nearby, like a prying bar could easily open it, right? Burke, can you be ready with your pistol? I don't know if there's anybody a better shot than me, because I missed a drone that was sitting still. I, I also missed a drone earlier, so I feel like... It... I hit the drone, but that's because I literally had my pistol to its hull. Okay. I, I'm just going to open it. Well, someone yeah, someone have a pistol that I'm going to see if All I right, can find some it. metal, and uh, I'm going to pry it open. So I'll draw, draw a weapon. Likewise. <laughs> Uh, give me a strength might test. Okay. Okay. Um, we have a six, four, uh, fifteen with a five on the on the drama die. Any doubles in there? Uh, no, four, five, six. All right. So yeah, you no. Know. Thankfully, you know, working in some G allows for decent de muscle development, and you are able to uh, pry open the door. Uh, one of the few things you do see inside is some uh, ox oxygen thing just floating around. Nothing else in the room. Are you walking inside the room? Gun out, yes. <laughs> Gun drawn, yeah. 
Alright. Jess, give me a perception uh, seeing real quick. Um, three, four, no, four, so two fours, um, that'll be a 13. 13, okay, which is bad, it's good. Uh, as you, like, take a look around, you see somebody just, uh, as you turn, somebody point, uh, about to point a gun at you. Uh, okay. And sh this person is, no, just there and uh, it seems to be vi visibly nervous give me you're a medical expert right yeah uh, I think it would be a medicine test uh, until it's medicine okay perfect um, can I use one of my talents here yeah um, if you have something that would fit for that I would allow it yeah, so I have uh, um, a talent called Expertise. Okay. If I select, I have a, basically I can select a focus that I have and then choose a narrower, like, field within it. So, like, trauma. Okay. Like, uh, dealing with, like, because I'm a combat, like, medic, like, dealing with, like, people who are going through incredibly difficult situations, like, learning how to deal with, um, like, the mental uh, mm -hmm. hurdles that, like, people have to deal with. So I can add... Um, a plus one on top of my other stuff. Okay, yeah, I would allow it. Go for it. Roll. Okay. Okay. Um, six, four, twelve plus. Uh, that's gonna be an eighteen. Oh, uh, two on the drama die. Okay. Cool. So, a few things that you notice. Uh, this person is visibly in a state of shock or panic. Uh, but based on just a few visual cue in that person's movement and their eyes, uh, they're probably pretty close to hypoxia right now. Uh, okay. Explaining the few oxygen tanks that have been most likely emptied. Gotcha. Uh, running on fumes. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna basically, like, uh, can I, like, intercept the weapon? Like, I'm gonna, like, with my offhand, like, kind of just, like, grab the hand of the weapon so they're not pointing it, and I'm gonna, uh, basically holster my, my pistol. Okay. Are you trying to, uh, non silly verbally communicate that you're not a threat, that things should be cool. Yeah, I'm trying I'm trying to like diffuse the situation. Alright. And uh, um, and I kinda Yeah. Uh do a communication empathy for me. And Burke, original you you're like right behind him. You're able to see that happening right in front of you. Okay. Uh, uh fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, let's go with their morale. Yeah. And probably lack of oxygen does not help, but she just, you know, let, it, let go. And you can see the, you know, the visible signs of hypoxia settling in that person. So, yeah. <laughs> Communication may be key here. And you're on, right. on, on, on a timer. I kind of lift my hand to Dante and give like a nod. Great. So basically oh, I'm going much into time to the medic mode and I'm uh, it, like looking around or mm -hmm. like do I have anything on my person that will be able to help them get more oxygen like am I, am I able to like kind of siphon oxygen that I have in my suit? Like, yeah you would know that it's possible to share oxygen in like scenario okay. like that. Okay. As Dante begins to move in to share oxygen, I kind of walk in, holster my pistol, kind of look to them, kind of like tap on like where the, the communications yeah. would be. Okay. I see you're trying to communicate with her. 
Uh, you're able to, as the oxygen has been transferred, um, and she uh, adjusts a channel to what you would be. I didn't think anybody would be coming. I, I, is there any drone out there still? Uh, there's one somewhere that we haven't found. Nobody was supposed to come. Uh, my name is Reginald. You can call me Reggie. It's like stark contrast from the, yeah. the goofy like broadcast that he was doing earlier. You're safe with and us. Sh- I didn't know we could call you Reggie. <laughs> She's looking Sometimes. at all of you, and Burke, are you in line of sight from that person? Uh, see, I was just outside the door uh, with gun trained. I mm-hmm. hadn't gone in yet. Okay. Uh, she's trying to ascertain the situation, and you, you can see that her eyes are trained on you, Burke, as Reginald is dressing her, and Dante's, you know. Like, the, almost a look of recognition, but may... Right. We're just here, harvesting ice. We found the ship and got curious. It's a boring job. Can you tell us what happened here? We need to get her out of this environment. Yeah. Soon? Um, now? We, we asked you know, you gave her, she would be good for a little bit. Uh, okay. It did, did lower your supplies. Uh, right. But, you know, sharing here and there. Uh, taking a couple deep breaths. Okay, uh, I do have focus and persuasion, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you're trying to essentially make us uh, tell you what ex- exactly happened here, right? Yep, we're just going to go ahead and address this trauma head on. Okay. <laughs> Process it on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> and she looks at you. See the order. She see it. Marshna is helping her a lot. But she's visibly herself a belter. Mm-hmm. Which trust issues here. Right? Right. Um, she gestured at, at Burke and just... You know, communicate with him uh, to do the very belter thing and just essentially do the helmet to helmet thing mm-hmm. and turn off the comms because if she wants to talk to somebody about shit that happened it would be to, to a belter <laughs> okay so I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see that and kind of look at Reginald and just be like back off like mm-hmm. uh, I give like a her and step back And smack in the element against yours. But at night, it was just supposed to be a salvage job. That's all I was here for. And then the drones, dead Martian here. It was sim- simply go to the place and go get the ship. That's all it was. But so I, you I've seen your come face. Come here, find dead ship? That's all I was t- told about it now. And, but have I, have I seen you before? Have, have we seen before? No, I, I, I don't recognize. And she looked at you very, very intensely. Are you, you OPA? Okay? No, I'm not OPA. Okay. My brother OPA. Okay. All the time this happened. Yeah. He, That's he, why I'm out here. My brother got big mouth. OPA. <laughs> I take job far away from Siri. And, and you, tr- you trust the DNS that are uh, with you right now? now to just I mean, no, bring me in, but put me in the airlock and as soon as they know and just put me out here. I, You know, I, I trust Inna about as much as anybody trusts Inna. That's not true. <laughs> but, you know, so far, 
not too bad. Uh, push comes to shove. You know well, well, you know. right? All right. And then... Okay, look. Just if you uh, cook and get me out of here, it'll be, be good. And she just pulls back and turns her, her comes on. All right, can you just get me out of here? Yeah, we, uh, we, we, do we don't have right. much time. I don't know. Wait, why don't Why don't we have much time? There was people that were supposed to be rendezvous with me, like, and and I'm not sure, you know, if they find, you know, a ship from inner by the side. Uh. Blades, uh, give me another check on the on the scanners for anybody. I'm assuming, Blaze, you're taking a look at the scanner still. Nope. Oh, the chief. Nope. Are you there, Harley? <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm I'm playing yeah. my Candy Crush on um. <laughs> so. You're, you're taking Damn a look it, at Blaze. You take a look, take I need to look at a scanner. Check on the I'm scanner. I'm taking the. I'm sorry. You want me, you want me to look at the scanner? Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah give sorry. me a check on the scanner one more time. One more time. Okay. Oh, I did not roll very well. Yeah. Um. Do I have my intelligence to that? Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So I got double twos and a five on the drama die, mm -hmm. and that's um. Mad. Eleven. Eleven. So, you don't find any uh, transponder, but what you do notice here is that there's, a, like, just, like, approaching, uh, you do detect a drive signature. It is It burns very dirty, so it's hard to exactly d determine the drive, but it's coming in your general direction. Um, it looks like something's headed our way. So, you guys need to get off that ship now. Nothing for right. it. So, we grab her, get back to the ship, and dip. Mm -hmm. Is that... That's the plan. I'm grabbing the drones on the way out. They're worth money. Yeah. Sure. And as you're there on that ship, uh, Blaze, you do receive a tide beam communication coming from said ship. This is a Cyber report status. Power, and uh, we ask you that you power uh, from in uh, you power your drive down from the in Inaros OPA. This is our salvage. You are and prepare to be boarded. Uh, no, 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 thank you. We're just leaving right now, so you no need to board. We're good. We would advise to power ship down, prepare to be boarded, or be fired upon. Look, we're not trying to mess with your salvage, so there really is no need. Yeah. And you, you have a feeling you have about maybe 30 minutes before they get here. 30 minutes. Okay, thanks. Bye. And then I'm going to ship the <laughs> communication. Um, hey, guys, they're going to board our ship in like, uh, it looks like they're about 30 minutes away, so y'all need to hurry. They who? Uh, whoever's on that ship. They said a lot of words. Yeah. Uh, so, things you, you caught, probably that uh, is the Inaros OPA from the Cybel. Uh, right. Perfect. Just what we need. They said that this is their salvage? Yeah. Um. Anyway, so we need to go. Burke, you would know the reputation of the Inaros OPA. Mm -hmm. And it's not good. Like, we run, they chase us down. Uh, it don't matter. We're, we're already here. We already got a target on a hull. Um, I don't know. What's, what's, uh, what's startup time for a reactor? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> if, you, if you do it real quick, if you do it very well... You could probably do it real quick and power that ship down up real quick but by the time that they, before they get here, or at least before they get in range to easily, f you know, board you in. You know, we, we, 
we could run, but we'd probably just die tired. If we die um, tired, then let's die on our feet instead. Maybe fire up the Racta, get the PDC online. Uh, put up a fight. And All right, they well... Get, they're not going to let us out of here. Hmm. Whatever you got, y'all decide to do, you need to decide, like, right now. Because they're on their way. I mean, I could try to distract them. Wait, but don't we want Blaze here? Because isn't Blaze the best pilot? Like, I can't pilot this thing. I'm not thinking pilot. I'm thinking just fire up weapon. Yep. Uh, well, we wait till they a... get wait till they get close. Fire up weapon. Yeah. Open fire. So you wouldn't know uh, ship combat, right? PDC at, are a short range weapon. Mm-hmm. Uh, this ship does not have been. This seem you know if that as a rail gun or not. Mm-hmm. Long range would be por- torpedoes. Um, you know we can maybe time the reactor when they're close. Uh, get the survivor on board uh, the ship. Maybe you all leave. I'll open up with PDC to distract. I'm going to look to our survivor that we just found. And say, yeah. This is not intended to be accusatory. Are these your people? Look, sometimes we work with Inaro's OPA. I'm Black Sky. We Sometimes we work together. This was not supposed to be them at a rendezvous. I don't know what information got leaked. I see. So, we can't exactly rely on you to say, hey, everything's fine. But if it was a narrow scope PA, I don't want to stay around and say, and with some uh, Ina and think, think I'm at well, Walla and working with Ina. <laughs> really? She, I mean, they're worried about working with us versus dying? I mean, <laughs> I go ahead and ask way. her. <laughs> I mean, we can leave her there if that's really that big of a deal. Since we're a bunch of inners. I have a thought. Do we, as rock scanners, theoretically, have any explosives? Probably minor one to clear some few things. Not enough to full fully blow a ship bar- apart what if we started the reactor and planted them in that get the whole ship to blow up exactly we get on ours we get the fuck out of here chase us there's enough rocks in here to start an entire ricochet fest if this thing works so, crew, the Arcadian into a death trap. What's your plan? What do you think? We do that, we shoot on them, or we run. Either way. A well. question, GM. So, mm-hmm. if, is it possible? This is a kind of a weird roundabout thing, but is it possible? Because I hacked into that drone. Yeah. Could the drone like connect to the ship somehow? Like, is there like a port? Or something that I could like go from the drone to the ship, like hack it through that. So or essentially, to tra- it. Tra- trying to access some of the ship control via the drone. Yes. Uh, some drones are made are able to disable when they are infiltrate infiltrate a ship to d- disable them. Their, uh, dis- disable them. As for full accurate control, it's a bit more difficult. Uh, depending on the technology of the drone. These are not exactly top-grade military drone either. So that would be uh, qu- quite difficult, but not necessarily possible. Would just take you a lot of time. Mm, okay. Well, whatever you guys decide. So, another theory, another thing that we could do real quick. What if we turn on the ship and why don't we set it to autopilot and just have it fly off and we escape on our ship elsewhere because my whole thing is is that if we fight it we have to make sure we destroy the other ship and i'm not confident that we're going to be able to do that at close quarters like Agreed. if they want this ship and they like this is the salvage like and it's flying off like would they chase that ship and not ours as a thought maybe 
I don't know. I mean, Burke, you have more experience with this, like, with pirates and stuff, right? These aren't pirates. Oh, what is it? <laughs> uh, basically, built a faction. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Some of them may be pirates. <laughs> Yeah, pirates so. adjacent. Yeah, <laughs> pirate is a very broad term for same Belter. thing. Privateers. Same thing. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, yeah. do you think they would chase after it if we like just let it go? Uh, from the look of the the, the weaponry and everything, on just a, a Martian gunship. That's a pretty. It's a pretty big prize. It's a big hole. And if we make them choose between them and us, um, more than likely they're gonna go after it. I think that's a really great idea, Dante. Right, let's so do it. I like it. All right. So let's fire it up. Fire up the ship. And All then right. we'll set a course away from us, and we go in the opposite direction. So you're currently still tied to the Picus? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can we make the drone tell it to autopilot? Like, if you power it, if you power up the ship, you right. could probably insert some basic commands. Perfect. I love it. Yeah. So let's, All right. let's the uh, the ship started first. I think that's All right. you know, step one. Let's head to the command ship. center, Blaze. Get ready to gun it the second we're in that airlock. All right. All right. So, original Burke and Dante going to the command center. Blaze, are you sta staying on the Arcadian or you're uh, going over? Oh, no, I'm staying on the Arcadian. I'm just ready. I mean, I'm ready to, to go yep. as soon All as right. we're... Okay. I was... I have a question though. Yes. If I were to like verbally like I mean, like basically like an assist action or a help action. Yeah. Because I understand like engineering and, and yeah. ships and stuff like that, would I be able to like help with roles or something I, like that? I would allow it. Okay. Uh you can give me a uh engineering test. Okay, and so whatever stunt you will you will have on your drama die, I will allow it to be like bonuses to whoever will per perform uh, the power-up check, if you will, on the Picus. Okay, so you want me to do that right now? Yeah, and okay. who's, uh, who's going up to try to power up the Picus? I'm just going to start heading to the command deck. Okay. All right, going up there, uh, easy enough. It's not console that you're fully familiar with, but about to find himself at home anywhere if they re put their mind to it. So, okay. Uh, Place, what was your. Um, the I got a 15 you? with okay. a 4 on the drama die and no doubles. Okay. Good to know. Uh, Burke, can you give me. What would it be for that? Mm, Techno, it would be intelligence. Um, I would say engineering or actually engineering cryptography or even possibly just technology in general, whichever works best for you. Right, I'll do tech. Oh yeah, I got a six. Okay, two ones. Oh no. Plus two, so that's uh, ten. Yeah, ten. Uh, and the six is the drama die. Six is drama die. Okay, bringing the turn up. Ten. And Blaze, what was your, your drama die roll? Four. Four, okay. All right. So, the turn may, will take effect. Uh, Did it work? Yeah, you're, Burke, you're able to power it up. Uh, could, some, could somebody roll me a d6, please? Who we want it to be? Dante, you do it. Sure. Just one D6? Just one D6. Alright. I believe in you. Sorry, Dante. Five. Five. Alright. No effect from the turn. That's good. That's actually very good. 
It's like, am I hoping for high love? From what I read about Churn, that could have gone so bad. <laughs> I mean, at, at this level, it would just have been a minor effect. Okay. okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. But you're able to power up the drive, uh, and you receive another hail. This is Sibel. What, uh, power down your drive, or be prepared to be sh fired upon. This is the last warning. This is to I'm, me? Yeah, he's it's, yelling it's you with a tight beam. Okay, And they're going to be now close enough to be able to possibly jam your external co uh, communication. Have we turned Actually, they will try. Ship yeah. on, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the Pycus is on. Okay. Uh, quick system diagnosis. Everything on board this ship is functional, except the fact that there is, it's a vacuum right now. Uh, right. If you were able to seal that hull, uh, that cargo bay, you could probably repressurize everything here. Ideally, though, we just set it up to go off and do its thing, and we haul ass. Yep. Okay, because I'm totally fine just, like, letting it go. I don't think we really need to repressurize it unless we we're staying in the fighting. Yep. Which... So, if, if that's the plan, uh, give me, uh, somebody give me a navigation intelligence check. Navigation. Uh, which one of us has the higher intelligence? Um, I have a three for intelligence. But... Please. Okay, right, <laughs> <laughs> Not for navigation. All right, well... I talk to people. I've got a three in communication. That's all I do. Okay, not not bad. Uh, um, I have two fives and then one on the drama die. And then, so that'll be a uh, 10, 11, uh, 14. 14? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's not a precise direction, but you, you have a feeling that you can probably delay that autopilot real quick, that you have maybe a few seconds, a, a minute or so to get the hell out of here, uh, to make it burn away. Okay, great. So I, I'm, I'm just pressing buttons I'm like, this, <laughs> this is something. Yeah. Uh, and you can, you can feel as the, you power up the drive that... You get you get that pull towards the bottom of the ship. Uh, you're go. still attached to the Arcadian. Okay. Uh, so your umbilical cord is uh, slowly uh, not going in the right direction. <laughs> right. Because one ship is stationary, the other one is starting to have a trust. So, shall we fuck off? Fucking run! So yeah, we're gonna y'all need to hurry. Also, I think they jammed our communications. <laughs> yeah. Did they? So yeah, you're not able to communicate to any other ship externally, except them. Gotcha. Um, okay. So as you're making your escape, um, we're gonna do some. As the umbilical breaks a bit, you will essentially have to EVA your way towards the Arcadian. Which is gonna yeah, suck. I can do to help. Uh, you can try to EVA the Arcadian closer to them. So give me a piloting test. Uh, as everybody just give me, I guess, acrobatic. What would that be? Uh, I think that it would be... Dex? Dex, yeah. Okay. Uh... Dex acrobatic, I would say. Uh, I can see Dex free fall. Sorry. Okay. If you have that as a focus. Two, okay. uh, I'm gonna uh, roll for K. Okay, yeah, she's a bell test, so she's good. terrible. <laughs> Nine, two, uh, two twos, so we have a double. I got uh, 13 here. Oh my god, 15 for piloting. Okay, so that, that will impact the uh, difficulty that they have to do. Uh, I got a 10 with a 5 on the drama. Alright, any double in there? Or just, nope. 
So it is not exactly a smooth exit from the Pikes. Uh, for the most part, you're floating in space. Hoping not to become what will be behind the reactor of the Pikes. Which, it's a nuclear reactor. You don't want to be there. Uh, but thankfully, Blaze is able to approach close enough that you're able to roughly eviate towards the open airlock and close it behind you. Got it. <laughs> Are you gunning it completely? Yeah, yeah. Once everybody's in, I'm gonna gun All right. it. Alright. Yeah. So, when you say gun it, how much trust do you want to put in there and how many G's? Um... <laughs> I don't know. Um, For the most part, you travel at 0.3 G. Uh, 0 0.3. How high can I go? Uh, this is not a... I'm not sure what class of ship this would go at. Uh, how far it would be. Shitty. Uh, probably enough to, you know, get decent speed. So I'd say, like, up to 5 G. Let's go 5 G. All Woo! right. So, <laughs> got into some new cell towers. Everybody on board, please give me a Constitution stamina test. Yeah. Including me? Including I you. I have no Um, <laughs> 10? All right, that's gonna hurt. 12. Yeah. Okay, let me, uh, let me just get back to my. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Just Reginald over the comms. Gun it! <laughs> yeah. All right, we got a 15 here with two fours. Bam. All right, good job. I'm just going to make note here. Okay, Burke was, uh, uh, Burke was what? Uh, 13. 13. With a two on the drama die, no doubles. Reginald was 10. <laughs> uh, 10 with a five on the drama die. No All right, doubles. Dante was? Uh, 15 with two fours. All right, and Blaze. Twelve. All right. Let me just calculate what was it, would be threshold for that again. I just need. Uh... We're getting out of here, y'all. I did say gun it, man. You I did, did say, say, you gun did say gun it. You did not. I, I can't blame you for this. You said jump, and she's like, "All How right. High? How high? Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, this high? Let me just find this high. Uh, this high. Five G high. Five G high. Uh, spaceship. I got that new phone. Space travel. I know there's a formula somewhere. I'm just trying to find it. I could not find it in my cheat sheet here. Please bear with me. Man, this is a fun time in the airlock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You in there, like, you close the door behind you, and it sucks. Right now, you're not what? having a time. Does it be potentially being blown to smithereen? But, and I say Maybe. potentially. <laughs> Exactly, you're welcome. See, I'm saving the day. Perfect. Uh, where is that? Gosh darn. So much information. What are we looking at? Thrust and mass? Thrust and mass. Uh, thank you for everybody for everybody for your patience. I'm trying to find that. I, I have not I'm not super used to running. The expense. I, I should have that information written somewhere. Um, I don't think you were ready for us to gun it. So, <laughs> I, I mean, that really. I'm you're looking welcome. with you. It was one of the options, right? It's always an option to just book it. Uh, I'm hoping to help you out here. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. This is a big book. If I'm not mistaken, it's... I found a section on... Yeah. Um, gravity? Yeah, it would be around that, per se. Um, quality flaw, no, that's not it. You know, it's, it's rocketry, right? It's, you know, yeah. motion, velocity. Oh, impact. I think I found it. Yeah. That might do it. 
Maybe not. It talks about G's, but not very much. Okay. Just pull a not, number out of your butt. Not five G's? Well, yeah. You give me a number, I'll, I'll deal with it. I think it's like six plus the amount of G that you're pulling. Uh, so, uh, 11 G is here. Uh, 11. So, and Blaze, what was your score again, Wes? 12. 12. I I'm going to name that for when I lose too much time. So, e everything hurts for everybody. Uh, <laughs> Reginald. <laughs> Uh, you do suffer some, uh, point of fortune. Just ask your buddies being crushed and tumble, and... I mean, everybody's gonna suffer a little bit. Uh, but you have a ship on your tail. If you want to... Uh, what would be your evasive maneuver to go evade possibly uh, being fired upon? Because... What they asked was for you to... Cut your drive, and then what he did was the opposite. Instead, set another drive and book it. Uh, so, crew, as a just a quick evasion, evasion. What's your plan here? I thought gunning it was the plan. Yeah, there. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, there we all. You do detect uh, incoming torpedoes towards you. Wait, I thought they were gonna chase after the ship. Yeah. yeah, and your witness. <laughs> okay, well then I'll try to evade with. I would like to make a piloting check. All right, do a piloting yeah. and evasive evasive maneuver. They're just yeah. shot. They just fired one torpedo, because yeah, you're just a tiny little shit. <laughs> there's underneath this amount of force. There's pretty much no way I would be able to reach, uh, the bridge, right? Uh. You possibly could if you give me another uh, stamina, stamina test. If I do that again, is it gonna hurt? <laughs> Mo possibly, yes. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> because the longer you're pushing that G, the more it's gonna hurt. Uh, I'm just gonna let it happen for now, then. All right. So, what do I roll for evasive maneuver? So it would for evasive maneuver, it would be uh, piling. Okay. Uh, uh, I have the thing here under act. Uh, oh. So, evas evasion test. It's 3d6 plus your dexterity piloting versus uh, their ship sensor. I'm going to roll for their... Oh, okay. Don't roll well, please. <laughs> so, what did you roll? I rolled... One second. Um... <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. So I roll three ones, which give a to total number of thirteen. Woo! -hoo! So just piloting, putting a rug be between you and Sibel, blowing up that rock. I uh, do feel some tumbles. Uh, your ship is taking damage. Your comm system are gonna be a bit hurt. Uh, but you're, you seems to be able to evade that. Woo, and we you're not sure what will be the repercussion of getting out of there. If they're gonna continue to chase or go after the Pikes, which seems to be the price right now. But I guess we'll find out if we ever replay the expense. Oh! oh. oh. Guess that's where we're gonna end it tonight because it's already midnight for me. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So at the end, it was either you blow to smithereen, surrender, or steal a ship. So. Well, thank you everybody for coming. Sorry for the weird wait at the end. I was trying to figure out the G force and how much it would hurt the crew. I'm pretty sure I did something it wrong happened. there. But hey, who cares? I'm the GM, I can fucking call it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you can say we all just died because yeah. I did five Gs, so. Yeah. I mean, prolonged I don't know if y'all noticed how big my eyes got when I was like, well, we're liquid. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, we're done. Burke you said I could, you said we didn't even get, 
You said I our ship done it. didn't even go that fast because we we're like a little crappy ship. So I was like, well, if I like, yeah, we don't even go that fast. Then five Gs but, is not that bad. No, but uh, yeah, you can you can pull five Gs. Your ship may not be able to hold it for very long, and the people inside the ship may not be able to hold it for very long. Like yeah, I got us yeah. out of there. I'm just <laughs> saying, like I'm just picturing like Blaze like just piloting, spinning all over the place, everybody in the airlock. <laughs> <laughs> <You're tr> <laughs> uh, it is the war it, it is a, a terrible ride. I yeah. accidentally opened the airlock and everybody's out. <laughs> yeah. uh, but hey, thank you all all of you for Tolerating me and playing in this game, I had, I had fun. Tolerating you, um, it was a great time. So yeah, just you know, we're gonna do another round table. Let's, not, let's do it this time the other way around, just for, to mix it up, and tell the lovely people at home where they can find you on the internet. Let's go with Derek. Well, like I said at the very start, my name is Derek Ward. You can find me on Twitter at Dungeons and Derek's, and you can find me as the DM over at Short Rest D and D. We're currently on hiatus, but we are going to be wrapping up our seven-year campaign. Hopefully, in a couple weeks, few weeks, somewhere in there. It's, it's really as soon as we can finish the assets because we're a small team. So, stay tuned. All right. Yeah, I'm looking forward for that campaign finale. I'm Me aw too. I'm aware of some of the assets, so uh, I'm some. looking forward for that. Uh, Nyx! Hey, yo, I'm Nyx. Uh, you can find me generally here streaming on Twitch three days a week <coughs> at Punkle, anything Punkle Nyx. Um, or my Etsy store, uh, MC Etching, and over at Twitter, MC underscore Etching. I'm usually bopping about doing stuff. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff on that store, and Sometimes you see Nick's crafting in on stream, so check it out, right? Andres. Uh, yeah, again, my name is Andres Rivera. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Cobra underscore cast. Um, and on Twitch, where I'm usually casting uh, video game stuff, uh, primarily for Rocket League. If you want to see that, uh, I am casting a match tomorrow at around, I believe it is uh 7 p.m um that'll be twitch.tv forward slash uh curve warrior 521 so cool. feel free to stop on by awesome and harley hi um hi again my name is harley kane and you can find me everywhere at harley hero and uh yeah anywhere everywhere twitter instagram tiktok i'm a cosplayer streamer uh, play lots of ttrpgs uh just go ahead and check me out on twitter to find out what i'm up to Awesome. And as per usual, I'm Frank aka Rafiki. I you can mostly find him here. And I'll be back this Thursday with uh, episode eight of our D D five B campaign telephone room, so we'd love to see you around. Yeah. Should be fun. Alright. Well uh, in that case let's go see if we can find some love Lisa. that we can just bring some love to, right? Uh, I should have thought about that before, but hey, brain. Why would I do that, right? Uh, but any suggestion is always welcome. Uh, you know what? Let's go say hello to our friend over at the Empadeter. Uh, I see they're running some D and D. At, at least that's what it's saying there. So be kind, say hello. I'm not sure for how long they're gonna be on. Hey, some love. And until next time, have a good night.